Cynthia S. in here. How are you doing today? Hello. I don't see anybody else's message. How y'all doing out there? Lily, hello. Ron Wilson, how are you? Cynthia says, I guess my clock is running fast. Thank God. Well, I think I'm running a little bit late, but I think we'll make it. How are, how's everybody doing? Omar, hello. Lynette, hello. Debbie Parker, hello. Andre and Maddie and Brandy, hello. How is every single person out there doing today? Ron Wilson, how are you? Jackie, hello. Kate Coffey, hello. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. Give a thumbs up on the way in. And you may need to back out to give your thumbs up and then come back in, okay? Give a thumbs up. How y'all doing out there? Brandy, Latrice, Anita, Yolita, Sabrina, Robbie, Denise, Ta Tatika. Hello, Lenora, Latarsha, Eula, hello, Susie Q, hello, Antoinette, and Nita and Teresa, hello, Brenda, hello, Bowlegs, hello, Sonia, how are you? How's everybody doing? Craig, how are you? Evie, hello. Yes, we're cooking greens today, SW. How are you today? Yes, I'm here from the Bronx, New York, Geneva. How are you? Welcome. Every single person, welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I'm going to show you all how to make these greens that are just really unforgettable. And when I tell you that they are unforgettable, it's just, it's the flavor. You know, once you taste the greens this way, you're going to say, you know what? I've had greens before. This is you. This is what you're going to say. You're going to say, I've had greens before. And I like greens. But when I tasted them this way, I love them. That's what I'm, I'm hoping that you all will say that after you, after I show you how to make this recipe. And it's easy. I'm going to show you from the beginning, from how to clean the greens. Okay? We'll wait for a few more people to come in here. I need for the thumbs up to match with the people that are in here. I see every single person in here and hardly ain't anybody give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. I got to give a thumbs up. Felicia, hello. It's 75 degrees there. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Guess what? <laughs> yes, I love you too. Chef Cookie, how are you? Fuenza, hello. Alyssa Wooten, Sabrina says, Jello. <laughs> Lynn Lang, hello. Good evening. How are you doing this evening? And hello to everyone on the live, says Lynn. Hello to you. Welcome every single person that is new to my chat. And also welcome to the um, returning subscribers. Miss B says, I give a thumbs up. Sarah, how are you today? Fun with Liggy, hello. How many of y'all ready to make some greens? Is there anybody out there? Hi, little bit, how are you? Is there anybody out there that doesn't know how to make greens or uh, have you ever tasted them? If there's somebody that's never tasted greens or you don't know how to make them, let me know because I'm, I'm just curious. Oh, sleep in freezing rain here. Oh, my goodness. Be careful in that freezing rain, you know. 36 degrees in Tennessee, Black Gold says. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Catherine, how are you today? Happy Saturday to everyone. Happy Saturday. Give Jeannie Young a thumbs up. Oh, you, you. Okay, so are you saying you never tasted them? Or are you saying you want to know how to cook them, uh, Ron? Okay. Okay, this is great. If you're going to be, I am, Sarah, I'm going to teach you. Um, are you, is there anybody, if you're cooking with me, along with me today, give me red hearts in the comment section. Or if you're taking notes, give me red hearts in the comment section. 
We're going to wait for some people to give a thumbs up and then we'll get started right away. Oh, you don't know how to make it? Never made it, never had it before, says Cynthia. Okay, this is a treat. It, um, I wish I could just explain what the taste is like. The taste is something, I wouldn't, I wouldn't scrape in there, okay? I would just use, hold on guys. I would just use like a hot soapy rag. I wouldn't scrape in there because there's glue in there. And we don't want to disturb the glue, okay? Because the glue stops the water from going underneath, okay? I'm getting my sink cleaned out right now so we can wash our greens efficiently. Because one thing you got to do when you're making greens, you got to have a prestige clean sink. It has to be impeccably clean, okay? Because we're going to be uh, cleaning our greens in the sinks, and your, and your greens will touch the sink. So make sure your sinks are sanitized and nice and clean. Okay, I'm seeing a whole lot of hearts of people that are either cooking with me today or they're taking notes, and this is great. Great, great, great. I'm excited. Wanda McMorris, hello. Taking notes, okay, okay. I see a lot of people saying taking notes, okay. Okay, so Lenora says today is my son's birthday. He has autism. Please say happy birthday to him. His name is Nick. How about I say happy birthday right now? Happy birthday, Nay. I love you. I love you. I love you, Nay. Happy birthday to you from the bottom of my heart. And Lenora, if you could give him a big hug, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you stay on this live until a little bit later, I actually have a cake here. Um, maybe if I could find a candle or if I can at least find a lighter, we will all sing happy birthday to him in this chat. You know, everybody will type out happy birthday to him and he can see a piece of cake being cut and I'll eat the cake on camera, okay? And even if you don't stay on towards the end of the, um, you know, when we come and sit down and chat while uh, the food is cooking, just remind me and we can do that because I got some carrot cake over here, okay? Or, or if you don't remind me, somebody remind me to tell Nay so we can sing happy birthday to Nay, okay? Yes. Uh, I'm loving y'all today. How's everybody doing? Okay. So now my sink is nice and clean. Go ahead and dry it out real good with a paper towel if you would. Thank you so greatly. Where my house kind of looks a mess right now because we're working on uh, getting some holiday stuff going. Dakota's been really busy putting up holiday stuff. He's doing an amazing job, and we, I, we appreciate everything that he's doing. He's really been getting down with all of the holiday stuff. He put up this big tree here that you see. It is a present tree, so everything on that tree, it's lit up presents. <laughs> Yes, it is. We actually, um, uh, you can use it outside or you can use it indoor. And he put up another tree in our office. So at some point, I'll show you. I don't think he has all of the decorations. So I won't show you that other one until later. I think I'm ready. We're going to go ahead and get started. Get your hands clean. Hands impeccably clean. Get all your ingredients out. First thing that we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to get started. Uh, washing some greens. I'm going to show you. If you didn't get the pre-cut greens, I bought some regular greens because I can show you in detail how to clean those. Because it is possible that you can run out to the store or you can order greens and they don't have the pre-chopped. So if not, I'm going to be showing you every single thing from beginning to end, how to make amazing greens, Gina Young style. <laughs> you bet I am. And I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and get my microphones on. The sound will leave just for a second, but then the sound will come back in. I want nobody freaking out on me, okay? All right, let's see. Let's get this microphone going. Thank you, treasure. I'm so grateful today. Grateful to have each and every one of you here. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. I see who's in here. 
I see who didn't give a thumbs up. Give Tina Young a thumbs up. It's your grandma's birthday. Please say happy birthday, Brittany. Happy birthday to your grandma. Absolutely. Okay, let me grab my apron. Okay, got some good stuff happening here. Now what I'd like for you to do with this here, you can put it here and it won't be able to be seen. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, which one we're gonna use? Um, I don't know. We'll just see, whichever one's prettiest. <laughs> Dakota, <laughs> Lord, Dakota is showing me um, Christmas reefs, possibilities of Christmas reefs that we can put on the door. And he asked me, which one are we putting up? I said, I don't know, whichever one looks prettiest. <laughs> I think that one doesn't light up. Does that one light up? You have the lights on the other one. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm about ready. I'm going to take my computer over on the other side so I can read messages as we cook together. I hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side. I pray that Nay has an amazing birthday today. You bet I do. Nay, you're going to have a good day today. Thank you, Ron Wilson. Thank you all for giving thumbs up as you come in. It's very important to me. You know, if I'm in here working hard, I think it's great to at least get a thumbs up, you know? <laughs> All right. So now, let's go ahead and flip the camera around. If you can flip that camera around for me, cameraman, please and thank you. All right. Okay, so now uh, some of the ingredients that we have here. Looks like we got a whole lot of stuff here. So now I do have some smoked turkey. You are more than welcome to use bacon. You're more than welcome to use some type of beef. You could also use um, like any kind of ham, ham pieces, a ham bone. If you wanted to use like a ham hock or something like that, absolutely you can, okay? I will be using smoked turkey legs and I have a smoked turkey thigh or two, okay? No matter what meat you decide to use, it's gonna be delicious, okay? Or even if you wanna make this here recipe meatless, I can still tell you how to make it delicious without the meat. Greens can be made successful, delicious without the meat, okay? So what I'm going to do is wash my hands right now. We'll come back and talk about the ingredients, and right away, we're going to get started cleaning some greens. And a lot of people think that it's hard to clean greens, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let me get my hands washed. Put that over there, just over there on the floor. Washing my hands, all of the dishes. Okay, my hands are nice and clean. Always making sure your hands are clean. You want to keep your loved ones, your family and friends safe. You know, you don't want to transfer bacteria to your food that you're cooking. So keeping your hands clean is going to do the trick for you. Okay. Hello, my holy king. How are you? June, hello. Okay, so now, first thing that I want to do I'll move my meat out the way for just now. Let's talk about what we're going to be using. We will be using some onion, okay? Any kind of onion. Is, if you have shallots, you got a Vidalia onion, any kind of onion you want to use. I, I, I wouldn't suggest using a green onion, you know. <laughs> There's always somebody to say, can I use green onion? No. <laughs> All right, so you're going to use some onion. 
we're going to use some fresh garlic. I feel like putting fresh garlic in your greens is a must. Now, if you're the person that, that purchases garlic in the jar, that's fine too. It'll be delicious, okay? We have some salt and pepper, and that's what's in here. We have some black pepper. Chicken powder is optional. Chicken powder is going to make chicken broth for you if you don't have chicken broth. You're just going to use a couple of tablespoons of this, mix it with some water, and you got chicken broth. Okay, or you can add this to your chicken broth. So it's really optional. All right, we have some garlic and onion powder, apple cider vinegar, red pepper flakes for those of you that like a little bit of spice, you know. It's optional though. And I have chicken broth here, okay? So we have our greens. The first thing that I wanna do, I wanna show you the greens, okay? Let me move a couple of things out the way here. Making sure you all can see everything. Okay, so now, the greens come in the bag. The ones that are pre-cut. They come in a bag and they tell you that they're, they say that they're washed. Yeah, they're cut. They are already cut, which is great, but they do tell you they're washed. Me, personally, I do believe that they washed them, right? I, I believe it, but I want to wash mine myself. You know, because sometimes greens can have a little bit of dirt or sand in them. So the best way to wash them is I like to fill my sink up with cold water and a little bit of salt on them, okay? Now what will happen when you fill your sink up? Make sure your sink is impeccably clean. Fill your sink up with cold water. You're going to pour all your greens in there, and we're just going to kind of wash them. You know, doing a number like this together, washing the greens together. And the salt, what the salt does, I know you're going to ask me right now, does the salt make it salty? No, we're going to rinse them. And we're going to rinse these several times, okay? What we're doing with that salt, we're using the salt almost as an abrasive. When we pour that salt on them, it serves as an abrasive and it helps to get the sand and the dirt off of them, okay? So now, if the camera can actually come over this way, I'm going to go ahead and um, fill my sink up, and we're going to do it all together, okay? So now I'm taking my, um, what, what is it? I'm taking my stopper, you know, so I can fill my sink up with cold water, okay? And we're going to open up the bags that are pre-cut. Um, also, what I've learned about the pre-cut greens I feel like there's always some stems in there. And with the stems, it's really up to you whether you like to eat the stems. Me personally, I like to take out as many stems as I like. You know, some stems, like I said, they can stay in there. But if you see a big stem, take it out and just discard of it, okay? So now, let's go ahead and pour, like let me show you the perfect, what I mean when I say the stem. This right here. That's two big stems that we don't need it, so just toss it, okay? But for now, let's take this right here. Bring that camera close so everybody can see what's happening. Just dump your greens right into your impeccably clean sink. Okay, now what I decided to use today was I'm going to be using mustard greens. It's my favorite. Collard greens, it's my favorite. But if you decided to get... Um, turnip and mustard or turnip and collard or all turn whatever you want it or all mustard that's fine okay they'll all work for this recipe that I'm going to be showing you all today all right greens do shrink down see look at this this right here that's what I mean by the stem okay we don't want it but we'll have plenty of time to go in later and take all those unwanted stems out that we don't want, you know? So I'm just opening my bags, pour them right into the water, okay? Kind of push them down just like so in this manner. And then what I'm going to do is I want to show you all how to clean the actual greens that's not already chopped up and bagged for you, okay? I'm going to show you in detail. Yes, I am. I love you guys, and I want you ready for the holiday. You hear me? You, you're going to turn some heads for this holiday because I'm going to show you how to get down in that kitchen. You hear me? 
Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> All right, so we'll wait on the water to come up above the greens, okay? Making sure that it's cold water. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some salt. If you come in over here, and I wanna show you, this does have a little bit of pepper in it, but I'm not worried about that right now. Make sure you use salt. Wow, Gina, that looks like a lot of salt. Well, like I said, it's not for flavor. That salt will be rinsed off. It's just used as an abrasive so we can scrub those greens together, get them nice and clean. And we'll do that once the water fills up in my sink, okay? You wanna make sure you have something like a cookie sheet maybe. Um, also, maybe a colander or a big pot because when your greens are cooked, or I'm sorry, when your greens are cleaned, you gotta have somewhere to put the ones that are cleaned. Okay, so what I did, I have two colanders here that once I get some clean greens, I'll be putting them into colanders, okay? Or, like I said, you can use a cookie sheet, which I'll probably use too. Since we got a nice amount of greens here, you gotta have somewhere to put them when they're clean, okay? So I'm gonna come around. I'll look and see if anybody has a really important question. And then also, um, I wanna show you how to clean the actual fresh greens here that haven't already been chopped for you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that water off and see how you guys are doing. Let me look at some messages here. How y'all doing out there? Okay, see, uh, Carol says, I take the stems out also. Yeah, uh-huh, but there is going to be some people. I want to I fix the lighting. There is going to be some people that says, oh, I, I like the stem, Gina. <laughs> and if you're that person, absolutely. Do what tickles your fancy, okay? <laughs> All right, okay, so uh, Catherine says, you've made so many recipes that I would love to make for the holidays. I need to start now to get them all made. Catherine, absolutely. Let's see. Sonia says, always wash your greens even if it says clean. Yes, yes. And when you buy, she says, when you buy the chitlins, please wash them. Yeah, because the chitlins will even tell you, we're cleaned already. No, they ain't. Don't you believe that? <laughs> you believe what Sonia said. Wash them when you get them. <laughs> okay. All right, so now let me show you what the greens look like if they weren't already in the bag chopped up. I really think it's so neat. Literally, I'd like to say, I don't know how many years ago they started pre-chopping them for you, but I think it's a great idea for those that don't, just don't have the time or don't have the energy to clean the green. I think that's great. You just fish out the, the stems, wash them babies, and wham, bam, you know? But it, you might be somebody that likes to take these greens and clean them. And Jeannie Young is going to show you what to do. If the camera can come in. Okay, here's this here. This is what the green looks like. And when you fill it, you may fill a little bit of sand. Okay? But we're going to wash them. So now you can fold them this way. All right? You see how I folded it in half? And then you can just peel the stem off. Hold the green part, peel the stem off, and then that part right there, discard it. How, how simple was it? You bet it was simple. Okay, so now we're left with this here, okay? Some people like to roll it up into a cigar, you know, to something that looks like a cigar. You can go down this way, and then you can chop them babies this way. Bam. That's all, that's all you need for greens. Gina, is that simple? Yes, it is. Or, or you could do this. We, same thing. We have our greens. Okay, this one's real sandy. Okay, go ahead, bend it a little, pull the stem off. Okay, or you could do this. <laughs> okay, either way, if they don't get bruised. Either. I don't want you to think that, you know, some... Uh, things get bruised, this isn't a situation that the greens don't get bruised. So you can just tear them up. But what I want you to do is no matter what you do, you make them all the same size. How easy was that? Easy. Come down and look at it. See that? And that's what you're looking for. Okay. And really, it's that simple. I just wanted to buy one little bundle so I could show you just that. 
I'll do one more for the person in the back that's going to tell me, I know who you are. You're going to say, I didn't get to see it. And I don't want to rewind the video. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you. Time. We're going to bend it. We're going to take the stem out. See that? We don't want that. Discard it. Roll it. Or just start tearing it. And you slice and dice it however you like. Big slices, little slices, however. Okay? How simple was that? It was doggone simple. Right? So the next thing that I want to do, I'm just going to throw that in there. This right here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to actually put this in my refrigerator and save this. And I'm going to use it for something else. Uh-oh, it looks like one of my snowflakes fell. But no worries, We're, we just got those snowflakes put up. We're going to continue to fix those. We may have to fix it before we go on. Okay, so see, I'm just putting this in here because my plans is to use this little bit of greens that we have here. I'm just going to throw it into some soup, okay? All right. So now, does anybody have any questions before I come in and show you all how to, how I like to clean the greens? Any important questions? If not, we can start cleaning the greens. I'm going to go ahead and take my jewelry off. It, you're right, Lorraine. She says, if they take those stems out the bags, the greens will be a lot cheaper. I totally agree with you. <laughs> Renee, how are you today? Okay, so Geneva says, no, let's get started. Okay. All right, let's clean, says Lenora. Let's do it. Okay, come on in, everybody. I want you all to see exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, uh, when I'm here and I have a lot of time, look at me kind of massaging them. Now, what I like about this process, and I'm just rubbing them together a little bit, um, what I like about cleaning greens this way, I've seen people where they've just rinse them. You know, they just give them a rinse and bam, they're ready to cook them. I like to rinse mines a couple of times. Well, how do you like to do that, Gina? Well, I'm going to tell you. What I, the reason why I like to fill the sink up is because I feel like all of the dirt, all of the sand falls to the bottom of this water. You bet it does, and it's really interesting, right? We know we put clean water in here. You know our sink is clean, right? Yes, it is. So rubbing these together just like so, we're removing the sand, we're removing the dirt, just like so in this manner, all right? Moving them around almost like a washing machine. Okay, so now what do you do right from now then, Gina? Well, I come in, I go to the bottom, of my sink and I drain it. I take my drain, I drain it because the dirt and the sand has settled at the bottom. Okay, so now what we'll do is for a second time, once all that water drains, okay, listen to me, once that water drains and I see that there's no more water in the bottom of my sink, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill it up one more time with clean water, wash that baby another time Okay, and then when we uh, rinse it that second time, it'll be nice and clean. How about it? And there has also been times where I've washed and rinsed mines, put new water in three, four times. All depending on how dirty or how sandy your greens are, that's going to depend on how many times you're going to fill your sink up. Okay, so if I take a look in the bottom of my sink sometimes, you can look at the water down here to see how sandy it is. Okay, I don't know if the camera is showing me any justice right now, but I can see some sand in there, right? So once it gets nice and drained, we're going to fill it back up, and then we're going to rinse it again. You'll see me doing this motion again. We'll rinse it with our sink here, and then we'll be ready to cook them, okay? So now it's fully drained. I'm going to go ahead and put my you know, my little thing back in. I'm putting some more water back in, all right? And we're going to get these babies clean, Gina Young style. Not everybody cleans their greens the same. Have you ever tasted greens and they had, um, 
like a little sand in them. <laughs> you crunch down on a little piece of sand. That means that the person did not wash them good enough. Okay, it's, it happens to the best of us. It's actually happened to me before in lifetime, you know, of, of all my years in cooking, and that just let me know that I needed to clean them a little bit more, you know? So absolutely, it, it's really a learning process, okay? So now what we're gonna do, I wanna go ahead and take this time to talk about my meats, okay? I have some meats here. While I'm filling my sink up or while you're filling your sink up, taking notes or whatever, I want you to think about what type of meat that you would love to use. I'm going to be using the smoked turkey, okay? I'm going to rinse them off. I wanted smoked turkey wings. They didn't have them, so the person that did my shopping for me, they got turkey legs for me, but I'm okay and I'm just grateful that I have the smoked turkey, you know. When whatever meat you have, Let's just say you're using a ham bone, or let's just say you're using, and I will wash these off, okay? Let's set them right there for now. Um, let's just say you have a ham hock. What I like to do is I like to score the meat. And what I think scoring the meat does is it helps the meat to get nice and tender uh, while it's cooking. Otherwise, I think that if you don't score the meat, I'm gonna show you how to score it too. If you don't score the meat, it just takes a little bit longer to cook. That's just what I think, that's my opinion. So now I think it's great that anymore in some local markets, you can find smoked turkey thighs and you can find smoked turkey tails. You may want to use that, absolutely. Great flavor, lots of meat in them, you know. Okay. just like so. All right, and now we're gonna take a look at the greens and I wanna make sure that our water is filling up and it is, absolutely. And so now I can do it now. I'm gonna run, you know, run your hand through there. Do a clean in motion. Almost as if, a, you know, how a washing machine does, okay? Just like so in this manner. How easy is this? It's so easy, you hear me? The water is almost filled, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that water off, okay? And then what I want to do, I want to take my beautiful smoked turkey, my ham hocks, whatever meat you decided that you want to use. We'll rinse them, and then we'll give them a nice clean off, okay? Give me one second and I'll be right back. What's your name? What? It's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. What I did is I got, remember the other day when I turned around and I cut myself with the um, food processor? I felt, when I was cleaning the greens, I felt salt. <laughs> I felt the salt touch my sore and I thought, oh Lord. I thought, let me get a Band-Aid on. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, let me get a Band-Aid. No, thank you. I don't want to feel that salt on my finger. Not right now. <laughs> so I'm getting a band-aid because you're probably wondering <laughs> I forgot I had the microphone the one I was talking to Dakota he's like look at the tree look at the tree that's what he's telling me back here <laughs> I'm in the office I'm like I know it looks nice <laughs> and it does it's beautiful all right can you put that away for me Dakota thank you all right. Yeah, I don't want to feel that salt anymore. That's not a good feeling, is it? <laughs> Heck no, it isn't. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, in, we're in good standing. So now what we're going to do, see how, how you guys doing? Lynette, oh my word. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to give 
the meat, just, just the nice rinse. Nothing special, okay? I'm not using lemon or lime, apple cider to wash this. I'm just literally rinsing it, you know. And I'm going to use a paper towel to dry them. And then I want to show you how I like to score them, okay? I also want to show you how, or, or I want to show you exactly what pan I'm going to be using. Because when it comes to the greens, you must have a big pan. They start off with a whole bunch, right? Yes, they do. But they'll, they'll cook down. But in the beginning, you need something big to cook them in. Okay, so let me show you. All right. What we have here is either your ham hocks, your smoked turkey, whatever you decide. When I say score it, just cuts into it. Doesn't matter where or how you cut it. Okay, easy. Look at that beautiful smoked thigh. Okay, this one. Vala says hello. Hello, how are you? All right, just scores all over. It helps it to get nice and tender real quick. Look at that. Oh, wait, wait, something else. And you know what? I have, so I have this beautiful leg here and two thighs. I, I really think that's enough. I'm not even going to use that other leg. It's, it's, that's way too much meat. I don't want to have a pot full of meat and no greens, you know. <laughs> Got to kind of balance it out a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful meat that we have there. Okay, and this right here, I'll use it later on in the week. So now, what are we going to do right now? I want to clean up just a little, and we are going to, to fill through our greens just like so. They're feeling good. I'm not feeling sand, and I am so happy right now with how they feel. Okay, so what I want to do, they feel good. You can feel when there's sand in there. You can feel when there's dirt in there, okay? So what we're going to do, I have another colander. I am then going to be taking stems out. You can put the stems into a bag, you know, a trash bag, a Ziploc bag, whatever you want to do with it, okay? And eventually you're going to toss it, okay? But now that the water is draining out, now's the perfect time to go in and do a number like this and get them nice and clean. Once again, while you're taking unwanted stems out, making sure that you don't take the good stuff out, you know. All right, they're feeling so good. And then whatever I have in my hand, can you all see this? Okay, take a good amount, put it in my strainer. Looking good and they feel good. I don't feel no sand. That's how I like to do it. How about it? I'm going to turn, turn this this way so I can read what you all are saying while we're washing greens together. How about it? So let's wash some greens together. Okay. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. There we go. And I'll see what you guys are talking about. Your favorite greens are turnip and mustard mix. Oh, I love turnip and mustard mix. Yes. I'm doing fine, Nerly. How are you? Hey, thank you for coming in and joining us today. Absolutely. Okay, uh, let's see. I did not know better. We used to cook the greens for so many hours. Oh, listen. You can cook your, your greens for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. You can. And sometimes when I ain't got nothing to do, I'll cook a pot of greens for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on. You know, but really, there's no need to cook it that long. There's no need to cook it that long. And I'm going to show you, okay? You, but you want them to be tender, though, don't you, Gina? Absolutely. I'm going to show you how you can make them tender without cooking them forever in a day. You know, you can cook them for an hour and a half, and they'd be nice and tender. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely you can. So now, while I do this, right now I'm not pulling all the stems out. But before they go into my pot, I'll go in again and check for stems and pull out the ones that I see visible, okay? 
Yes, Shay says, true, cooked them all day. Absolutely. Yes, that, that's definitely what I remember. <laughs> we all have the same memories, right? Hello, Mildred, how are you? Tea cakes, hello. Gloria, hello. Gloria says, when I cook greens, I don't need anything else. The hot water cornbread, because you have the meat in the green. You're right. <laughs> you bet, you are right. Yes, you are. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because like she said, you got, you listen, you got the meat in there, get you some cornbread and you're set. Uh, sometimes I like to eat greens, <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes I like to eat greens just using my hands and a little bit of cornbread. Just grab some cornbread, grab you some greens and just, just throw it back. <laughs> sometimes I do. I really do. That's just what I like to do. Let me grab a plate. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I want to put that. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to put that turkey leg in the refrigerator because I want to use that other strainer. Okay? And then I'm going to be showing you all <coughs> what pan. What pan to use. Okay, gorgeous. Let me grab a plate, because I need a plate underneath my other strainer. Smoked meat, it does. It smells so delicious. Smoked meat always smells delicious. Right, Sonia? So now I'm almost done getting my greens nice and cleaned. Okay. And then we'll pick out some stems as we put the greens into the pan. And I'll be showing you a nice size pan that I'm going to be using. Um, if you were to wonder, like, okay, so what type of pan am I going to use? You're just going to use a big stock pot. And if you don't have it, go out and purchase you a stock pot. Heck, you can get a stock pot at the dollar store. Okay? Yes, Gloria said, yeah, they do smell good. <laughs> Young Granny, hello. Mildred says hello to Ron Wilson, Renee P., Debbie Parker, and Sonia and Tea Cakes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, you see how you need two things? I got clean greens in the sink. I got clean, clean greens up here. You're going to need a couple of different things to put them in because it's so many. Now, some of you might want to make a little batch of greens, and if so, absolutely you can, you know, and it'll be delicious. If you want to make a small batch, get you some smoked bacon or just one ham hock. And you can make a little batch for you, and it's going to be delicious. So now this is great. I, I have to show you all something really quickly. I want you all to see the bottom of my water so you can see how clean it is. I hope that the camera can show some justice. See, hopefully you can see as I move it a little. Can you see that my water is clear? But guess what? The first time, guess what, honey, listen to me. I never lied to you before. The first time, it was sandy and it was nasty looking. So that's great that I can just come in, I can zoom in and show you what you're looking for. Great, the water is so clean, it's so clear, and guess who's happy? I am. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you, Ron. That's how I learned how to eat grains was a finger full. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people do that. You know, they just take, bam. You know, and it, it, it just tastes better, right? <laughs> as long as your hands is clean. <laughs> all right, so now, almost got all my greens out the bottom. Make sure your sink is nice and clear water, just like I showed you. I showed you right on camera just how clean it was, okay? So now, let me go over. I wanna show you the pan. This is an old pot that I love. I love this pot. This pot is so old, okay? So this here is what it looks like. Sometimes, all depending on the amount, I'll use this. But I feel like, um, I feel like I wanna use this today, okay? So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so now, when I'm putting my greens in, okay, can you all see me? 
Yeah, she said, young granny said, now that's a greens pot. Absolutely it is. So now I'm putting my greens in and I'm going to discard of the stems. Okay. But for the most part, I'm not going to lose my mind looking for every single stem in there. No, I'm not going to do that. But if I see a big stem getting ready to go in, just grab it. Okay. You just grab it. Now, a lot of times I will start the cooking process of my meat to start that beautiful broth before the greens go in. I'm not doing that today because the long amount of time, let me tell you, the long amount of time that these greens take to cook, they're going to cook together. It's going to form a broth together. Okay, now, if you're that person, you say, oh, Gina, but you always showed us to make the broth before the greens go in. But like I said, it's only because the meat is going to take so long to get tender, but the same amount of time the greens takes to get tender. So we can do the two together, okay? So that's pretty much understandable. Absolutely it is, okay? So today, everything's going in the pan together. Okay, when we put the fresh garlic and the onions in, we're going to put it in with the meat. Okay. I see a nice amount of stems in this bag, I'm telling you. Oh, I don't know if I told you all um, that I decided to use collard greens and mustard greens. My favorite green is the mustard green. I totally love mustard greens. Like, I, I go nuts over mustard greens. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I want to take my beautiful smoked meat, and guess what I'm doing? I'm nestling it down in the bottom of that baby, move the greens around a little bit, put them down in the bottom, okay? So I got one turkey leg and two turkey thighs. Nestle them down in there, just like so, okay? Beautiful. All right. Let me see. Derek in the live says, Sonia. Gene Walker, hello, love and live show. I uh, says, I love uh, mustard greens too. Or did you say you love mustard greens or you love greens? Okay, I'm so happy with the way everything's looking. Let's get a few stems out. And then we're gonna, I'm going to show you these in them, okay? And the amount of onion and garlic that we'll be putting in. When we cut an onion today, we're going to put half of the onion in now and it can kind of just break down into our beautiful broth and it just goes, it just melts and goes into flavor land. But then the other half of the onion, we'll put it in a little later and you're gonna still be able to see those pieces of onion in it, okay? For those of you that don't like fresh onions, you're more than welcome to just use onion powder, okay? So now, what, you, what you're gonna have to do is you see how tall my pot is or how full it is right now. So you're left with this. Well, what do I do, Gina? Because I ain't got another pot. Well, we're going to begin these to start cooking. And very quickly, they'll start to cook down. And when they start to cook down, then you can add more greens. OK, so that's how that works. That's always going to happen to you, always. OK, so I have this plate here. These washed greens are just going to set over here on the side, okay? I'm going to rinse my sink out, okay? And I'm going to toss my stems. All right, let's get all these unwanted greens out of your sink. Get your sink nice and clean, and then we'll move forward. Okay. All right, we're moving in the right direction. I hope y'all are doing just fine. Woo, I tell you what, that salt sure burned my finger. You hear me? I felt that salt and I thought, oh Lord. You know what it feels like to get salt, <laughs> to get salt on something, something that's open. All right, here we go. Look at this. Nice, clean kitchen as you go. When you keep your things clean, you go, listen, you're going to be stress-free. You hear me? This right here, let's toss it. All right. So now, 
Now that we have our beautiful pot of greens, all right, what I want to do is I want to get started cutting up my onion and my garlic. We're going to season this baby and get that pot going. Okay, yes we are. Okay, so now let's turn everything back over this way. We don't want no water on the computer. No, we don't. Okay, we need to cut up some onion. We also need to cut some garlic, okay? You need your chicken broth. Not only do you need your chicken broth, but you will either need, if you're not using chicken broth right now, you're going to need uh, water and some chicken bouillon or, you know, chicken powder to make chicken broth. It's going to give so much flavor to your greens, believe me. Now, years ago, I didn't even use chicken powder or chicken broth. I would use just straight water and season that baby real good, and it was delicious. So you can do that. As long as you know how to season very well, it's going to be delicious. Okay, so what I want to do right now is let's go ahead and cut this beautiful um, garlic clove here. I like to use the side of my knife. We're going to whack that baby just like so to break it down and also to get the skin off. Otherwise, you're going to be peeling for days trying to get that skin off, okay? So it really helps to start the chopping process, okay? And like I said, more than anything, it helps to get that skin off of there. Beautiful, fresh garlic and greens, listen here. Talk about some good eating. Okay, so let's chop it down. You don't have to chop it down until the itty bitty teeny weeny pieces. Okay, because like I said, once again, this is gonna cook so long, it's really gonna cook down into just flavor land, like I said, the onion will do. So now that I have beautiful fresh garlic, Let's go ahead and get it on top of those greens. Okay, can you all still see the pot? Okay. Fresh garlic, let's get the skin out of there. Beautiful, can you turn that fan towards me? When we get, when we get started cooking up something good in this kitchen, I always start to break a sweat. <laughs> all right, garlic is in. Okay, nope, turn it this way a little bit more. A little bit more, please. This way. There we go, I can feel it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're gonna grab an onion. Let's grab our onions together. Any more, I like to, uh, any more, I like to keep my onions in the freezer before I get ready to start cutting it because it's been helping with my eyes watering. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit of root beer. All right, I'm going to cut this onion, and I'm going to do it quick. Because I don't want to go off crying over this onion. Like I said, half of the onion will go in now. The other half will go in a little later. So if you don't want to chop the other half right now, don't worry about it. Okay, chop it up later. Because the other half is going to go in far more later. It's going to go in when the greens are almost done. You know, because I want the second half of the, uh, the onion that goes in, I want it to still have some integrity. I want it to have some texture. But these right here, oh, I don't care that they're just going to melt down in the flavor, you know? And this is, I'd, I'd like to say this is a medium size onion. Okay? I'm not even going to try to mix the pot. Guess why? I'm not going to try to mix anything because the greens are going to go flying all over your kitchen, okay? Because the pot is already filled up to the top, right? We'll cut this later. Um, so what we're going to do is let's bring our greens into the equation. Excuse me. Please turn the camera this way. They're, they're putting Christmas lights up. <laughs> all right, ready? Come on. Oh, it's already, I'm sorry, I thought, I thought they was out of, out of focus. So like I said, don't even worry about trying to stir anything in right now. Let's get them to cooking. Let's get them to cooking down, okay? So now, what you should have done, let's do like a recap. You should have washed your greens, you know, filled your sink up at least two or three times maybe, and rinsed them with the salt in them. Get your greens nice and chopped up. Get a nice pan. Nestle your smoked meat down into the greens. 
Okay, we got a fresh garlic clove in there, fresh onion, and now I'm gonna show you how I like to season, okay? And now, during this cooking process, we will be seasoning several times. Absolutely, we will. Several times I like to season. Okay, so now, if you don't have chicken broth, you use water, okay? And you can use water with two tablespoons of chicken powder to make chicken broth, okay? When I cook greens, I like a nice amount of liquid in my greens because it, what it forms into is something that, that, they, that they like to call pot liquor. Pot liquor is amazing, you hear me? Because it's so delicious, you could just drink it on its own. So you see that I'm putting 232 ounces of chicken broth right in. Oh yeah, 232 ounces, that's a lot, Gina. Well, I tell you what, sometimes when your food cooks for a long time, collard greens specifically, or green specifically, some of that liquid will, will evaporate on you, okay? And you may need to go in with some water later and, and you know, replenish it with the liquid. Okay, so let's go ahead and season. Uh, Jackie says, yes, the good pot liquor, <laughs> yes. All right, so now two capfuls of vinegar. There are some sticklers out there that just don't like vinegar. And if you're that person, I totally understand. But here at the Young's house, we like a little bit of vinegar. Yes, we do. I like vinegar on my greens when they're cooked. And I definitely like to use a little bit of vinegar when I'm cooking them. So right now, we're just going to use two capfuls, OK? But later, we might decide that we need more after we taste it, because several times, while this is cooking, you need to taste that liquid to see what it needs, okay? So now, I'm, since I'm done with this, I'm gonna put it aside. Remember the other day, I spoke of, after you use something, set it aside so you know that you've used it. That way there's no confusion and you're happy in your kitchen, okay? Because sometimes if you put the ingredient back over there, you don't know if you used it already, okay? I'm gonna go in with some black pepper. I'm just kind of shielding it a little bit from my fan. And when you season, you really need to season. Guess why? Because you got a whole lot of greens right there. Okay, I'm going to go in with a whole lot of onion powder, even though we use onions. But I just love the flavor. Don't try to stir it now because it's way too high up. As the, the food cooks down and it, you know, shrinks down a bit, then we can go in and stir things around. Don't worry about it. Your spices is in there already. Okay, we're going to go in with some garlic powder, and I'm not going to be shy with my garlic powder, even though we put fresh garlic in. Okay, now if you love or your family likes a little bit of spice on their palate, put some red pepper flakes, but not enough to burn. We ain't trying to burn anybody's socks off. No, we're not. We want to make people's taste buds happy, right? You want this to be where Uncle Bobo could enjoy it. And you also want it to be where that little nine-year-old around the house can eat some too. So you don't want it too spicy. But what you can do, if you don't think your family would like the red pepper flakes, you can put it on the side. And if Uncle Bobo wants <laughs> uh, a little bit of heat, he can put this on himself. Now you see, just a little bit, that's it. That little bit gives a little bit of spice that makes some people happy. Yes, it does. All right? And so now... I have decided that I do want to use some chicken powder, okay? So let me show you the amount that I'm going to be using. Right now it's just about a teaspoonful, just like so in this manner, okay? I will be using a lid. A lid's going to help these to cook down so we can get that other amount of greens in on top of these, okay? And trust me, with this big pan, you're going to have plenty of room because these are going to really cook down, okay? So now let's get them on the stove and how about we turn them on uh, like a medium high heat, okay? So let's do that together. Medium high heat and I'm not using my, um, my burner here because I need much more heat. So therefore I'm going to use my stove behind me, but no worries because when we go in and check on them, I'm going to have that camera right there so you can see the whole cooking process, okay? I'm turning this on medium high. All right, we're in good standing. Okay, me please get that for me. Thank you. And so what I've done, everything that I've used, and I still have my onion here, everything that I have used, it's over here because 
when I go back and reseason, um, when I go back and reseason, I'll have those spices right there. I did not put my salt in, so I'm going to put just two pinches of salt in. If you're using a shaker, you know how much salt you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put some salt in, okay? I'm not going to get wild with my salt. The reason why is because I put some chicken powder in there, right? Beautiful. Now, sometimes you will see me put a little bit of sugar. Absolutely, you will. Sometimes you will see me put some sugar in my uh, greens. All depends on how they're tasting. If I totally feel like when I tasted them that they needed some sugar, then I'm going to put some in. But we'll just see. Okay, so turn your heat up on medium high. We're going to get a lid on them, okay? I want to rinse a couple of uh, knives off here, and I want to rinse one of my strainers off. Okay, keep in mind, don't forget, <clears throat> excuse me, don't forget about these greens that we will be using later. So what I'll do, they've already been washed and clean. I'm just going to set them here because as those greens cook down, you'll have the option to keep transferring them from here to our pot. So let me look for the lid that I want to use. <clears throat> I have a lid that I want to use, if I can find it. Y'all know how it is trying to find a lid around here, right? <laughs> I don't know if y'all have the same problem. <laughs> All right, I got the perfect lid right here. All right, we got our heat on medium high. And then, you know, honestly, that's how simple it was. That is really how simple it was. Now, we just let them cook, <clears throat> excuse me. Several times we'll come in, we'll check in on them, see how they're doing. If you turn yours on medium high, they're gonna start cooking up quickly. <clears throat> I also, Uh-oh, Laureen says, I've been watching Gina since 2018, and I copied some recipes. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so now, what I'm getting ready to do, I have some beautiful beef roast here, and I'm going to get them nice and cleaned off. I want to wash them first. I'm going to season these babies. And then I'm going to chop up some bell pepper and some onion. I'm getting them into my Instapot because today with our greens, we're having beef pot roast. Okay? So let me, let's see. Gina, you should play in the movie Smile. You have that iconic smile. Thank you, Samuel. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Oh, he said that's a scary movie. Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't want a scary smile. <laughs> I've seen some people that's had some beautiful smiles, like, um, uh, who is it when they smile? I always think they have the most beautiful smile. Uh, Tyler Perry, when he smiles, I say, he got a beautiful smile. <laughs> and Magic Johnson, of course, <laughs> he, has, he has that iconic smile. That's what I call an iconic smile. <laughs> so now... Um, I just rinsed this off. What I want to do is I want to cut it, okay? And I, I think I'll cut it right here, okay? And I'm going to season up this baby real quick. And today I'm using my recipe where I cook this in the Italian dressing, and it's go just going to shred into pieces. Nice tender pieces, you hear me? So this is a boneless beef chuck roast. Uh, Uncle Bobo smile. <laughs> I see you, Derek. How's Derek Eve doing? <laughs> All right, look at that. I'm breaking it down because this is going into the Instapot and sometimes putting a big, huge piece of meat in there, it was best that you cut it, you know? 
All right, so now that I have that done, let's go ahead. I want to wash my hands just a little because we touch raw meat. Anytime you touch raw meat, you got to wash your hands off, okay, because we don't want to transfer bacteria to our, you know, our spices, right? So now I'm going to go in with some black pepper. Yeah, I can just do it right here. Excuse me. Nice amount of black pepper. You need seasoning. And I'm using the same seasonings that we use for our greens today. Absolutely I am. Okay. Onion and garlic powder. A little bit of salt. I'll go ahead and use this onion, but I'll get some more onions for my greens. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing out there? Everybody doing okay? I heard somebody talk about pot chicken the other day. What is that? I don't know what pot chicken is. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll really have to think about that. Pot chicken. I, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Pot chicken. Is it pot? I don't know. <laughs> I'm clueless. Maybe there's another name for it. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe there's another name. So you'll see how I clean up as I go. And honestly, it really helps you in the long process to not be stressed out. Okay. So now I have an onion here. I, it's the onion for the greens, but I'll just get another onion. So here's what I'm going to do. Nothing special. Okay, that's it. Just quarter it. Nothing, nothing special. Okay, and I have bell peppers. Because when I make this recipe, I just kind of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, bell peppers and onions, and zesty Italian dressing, or whatever type of dressing you have. When you cook a boneless beef chuck roast in Italian dressing, something amazing happens. It forms, believe it or not, it forms an amazing gravy that just, ha it just happens. It's like a miracle. And that's why I love that recipe. Now, normally, I cook this in the oven on 350 until it's done. And when it's done, um, I take it out and then I have to chop it up or shred it apart. Cooking it in the Instapot, which I have never done this recipe in the Instapot, it's going to fall apart on its own. So, all right, we're going to cut some bell peppers. We always keep bell peppers here at the Young's house. Dakota's going to be making up some cookies later. He's going to be making chocolate chip cookies, and he's also going to be making um, I th sugar cookies. Uh-oh, somebody says, yummy, I'm getting hungry. That's Chef Cookie. <laughs> okay, so Heidi says, Italian dressing and beef is delicious. Yes, it is, Heidi. You know. Oh, you know. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'm, I'm really, I'm going to put a little bit of water in the pan, but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, really. Because you don't need it. Because it's going to be cooking in the Italian dressing. And some of you might say, oh, okay, so I do have a, qu a question. Because Italian dressing is made from oil, is it going to be oily? S there's like a miracle that happens. It's not oily. It turns into a gravy. I can't wait to show you because I know there's some people out there that's doubting me right now. And listen here, I can't wait to show you. All right, look at that. We've got a lot of onions. I want to separate those onions. A lot of bell peppers. If you don't like bell peppers, don't use it, okay? And just like so, we got some beautiful seasoned meat. So now I'm going to bring my Instapot into the equation. <clears throat> okay. 
what I want to do Here's my Instapot pot. <laughs> All right, I'm taking that seasoned beef and I'm just going right in. All right? Get it right on in there. Get them seasonings off that cutting board. Make sure you sanitize your cutting board when you're done. And then I'm putting bell peppers and onions right on top. <laughs> How simple is this? And when you make this recipe, your family thinks that you slave in the kitchen forever and a day, and you didn't. You just put seasonings, bell pepper, onions, Italian dressing, and bam! You got a roast beef that they're gonna say, dang, but where the heck she get this recipe from? Mm. Can you cook greens in your Instant Pot? Um, I've never done it, but I definitely would have to say yes. I definitely would say yes. So now, and I know some of you right now are going to ask the question, Gina, okay, you just handled that meat, but now you got your hands on the Italian dressing. Well, if I didn't plan on using the whole bottle, I would have had to wash my hands because you don't want bacteria on your bottle, right? But since I plan on using the whole bottle, I don't have to worry about that. Come in, come in so that people can see. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Oh, it is something beautiful. And I'm, it smells so good right now. I wish y'all were here right now. I wish y'all were here right now with me. Okay, so this is going to get washed. My cutting board is going to get sanitized. And the beef, sorry, the beef is going on to a beef stew setting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Black Gold. You said, thank you for teaching us, Gina. Oh, absolutely. Black gold, listen here. I promise you, I am here for you. Thank you for teaching you. I'm, I, I want to teach the world how to cook. You hear me? And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it Gina Young style by all means. By all means necessary. So I'm washing off my cutting board here, washing my knife off, getting everything nice and clean. My sink is clean. Okay, and now we're going to turn that Instapot on, the greens are going, and what we can do is we can sit down and chit chat for a little bit. Yes, we can, because we ain't got nothing else to do but wait on the food, right? Beautiful. And then I'll really be able to go in and communicate with you all and answer questions and stuff like that, because I totally understand how you could feel if you're putting a message up there and I'm not answering it. But please keep in mind, I'm only one person, and I'm trying my hardest. I have washed my hands. I'm trying my hardest to answer questions when I can. You know, but when you're doing a cooking tutorial, you can only do so much. You know. I don't have bionic eyes. <laughs> All right, so I want to use a little bit of this one. But I'm just using a little bit. Okay. Everything that I used is done and out the way. We're going to scoot it aside. Turn this Instapot on. Okay? I tell you what, I can always never... Oh, I, I did it. Okay. <laughs> usually, usually putting the lid on is like the worst thing in the world for me. <laughs> I'm always looking at it like, okay, how do I get the lid on? But we got it. We got it going. I'm going to come around and talk to you all here in just one second. <clears throat> all right, so let's see, meat stew. <clears throat> all right, I want to put this on high pressure and we can start. There we go. Okay, let me take a look in at our greens and see. Hold on, guys. 
All right, so our greens have began to cook down a little bit. I'd like to give them about, let's just say 10 minutes, 10 more minutes to cook, and then we'll add more greens in, okay? And I want to know, I want to know, did you all think this was simple? If it was simple, let me know when I come around there, because I'm going to come around and we can talk face to face. But if you thought it was hard, I also want to know from you if you thought that today's learning process was hard. <clears throat> okay, Brenda says yes. Do you think it was hard or easy, Brenda? Thank you, Ron. Yes, very simple. And I used to think it would be hard. Okay, okay, okay. Can you put Italian dressing on uh, prime rib? You bet you can. And that's absolutely a great idea. You just gave me an idea. <laughs> okay, Heidi says, excuse me, Heidi says, Gina Young got good taste. A&W root beer. <laughs> Can you put the meat in the oven too, right? Yes, Natasha, that's how I always put my oven in the, my oven in the meat. <laughs> always put my meat in the oven. I've never done this recipe in the Instapot, but we're going to do it today. So we'll see how it turns out together. Absolutely we can. Let's see how it turns out together. Uh, Lady Smith, yes, want to know about your beautiful beef steaks. Do you know they look so huge? This is not a beef steak. This is a um, boneless beef chuck roast. It's a boneless beef chuck roast, and that's the type of roast that I use when I purchase um, a roast. You know, some people like to use a pot roast. Some people like to use a rump roast. I use the boneless beef chuck roast and because I feel like it's the most tender part of the roast. It's delicious and it falls apart. It falls apart when you cook it. You hear me? So tender, grandma that has no teeth would enjoy it. <laughs> Ty says, oh snap, greens and roast? Yes, that's what we're doing here today. That's what we're doing here. Are your settings, what are your settings for the Instapot? You're late, I'm sorry. Oh no, Ty, it's okay. I'm just glad to have you here. You're never late. You guys are never late. You know, I just appreciate you being here. Give a thumbs up when you come in. And that's all I ask, you know, there's no certain time you have to come in. All right, you want to know the setting, I'm going to tell you. Okay, I have my setting. My pressure level is on high, high pressure, and I put it on meat and stew. And when you put it on meat and stew, it gives you its own, it gives you, um, sorry, how do I want to say this? It gives you a a time okay so long as you put it on high pressure put it on meat and stew it'll tell you how long it's going to cook okay so yeah that's how that's working all right <clears throat> let me turn my light on outside so some people think we live here <laughs> Okay, so you plan on, okay, let me see. Somebody says, Gina, let's see, let me see what the person says. I plan on getting mine from Amazon. Oh, okay, Debbie, yeah. Can you use a crock pot? Absolutely, Brenda. Okay, so Deborah says, good evening, everyone, just tuning in. We'll have to watch the replay. Okay, okay. Gina, where did you find your Instapot? Did you order it? We got it from Walmart a couple years ago. Thumbs up. Gina Yummist. <laughs> do Instapots cook faster? Yes. Yes, they do. Instapots, instant. Yeah, I believe that's why they put the name instant in the Instapot name. They do cook faster than crockpots. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, listen, I appreciate you guys. I am so glad you're here to learn how to cook these grains. So now, here in a little bit, you're going to get to see when we go over to the stove, where are the puppies? The puppies are in my basement. They're with my husband. 
and they're kind of chilling today. <laughs> they're downstairs. They're not the same as crock pots, but they do cook similar to crock pots. You, that's not, and honestly, it's not a stupid question. It was a great question. Listen, no question, this is what my dad always told me, no question is stupid. The stupidest question that you ask is the one that you don't, the, the time that you don't ask the question. You know, it's ne the, no question is stupid. It's when you don't ask a question, that's what's stupid. And I, I love when my dad would say that. <laughs> yeah, get you an Instapot. It, it has a setting for um, beef and stew, for chicken, for fish, for uh, pressure cooking. It has a setting for a lot of different things. In pressure cooking, you can cook something and get it nice and tender like that. Right? So there's a lot of different settings that you might like. It has a saute setting, so you can saute things in it. Gina needs a class on the use of the Instapot. I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm not the one to do that class. Guess why? Because I don't use the Instapot. <laughs> I'm talking about it right now, but I'm, I don't use it a lot. I just don't use it a lot. <laughs> great idea, Jacqueline. <laughs> I see what Shay said. <laughs> she said, great idea. I'm not going to do that because I don't use the Instapot. <laughs> I'm just using it today. I figure since I got a big old pot of greens cooking on the stove, let's make <laughs> some roast real quick and throw it in the Instapot. <laughs> Could I use something other than Italian dressing? What meat did you use for the greens? The meat that I use for the greens is um, I use smoked turkey. Gina, will the Italian dressing give the beef an Italian flavor? Um, it gives it an amazing flavor. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it doesn't make it taste like Italian dressing. The Italian dressing kind of forms into like this gravy as it matches and pairs up with the juices of the meats. It, it, like I said, it's like a miracle. It, it is. It's beautiful. Gina, have you done Mississippi pot roast? I have not done Mississippi pot roast, but I would love to. Alyssa says, I might have to get me an Instapot. Absolutely. Yeah. Excuse me. Absolutely you can. Gina, you smoke turkey in her greens. Thank you. Delilah, how am I pursuing you? What's the problem? Let's see. D Delilah, how am I pursuing you? What's the problem with the thumbs up? Uh, Delilah, where's Delilah? Let me see what Delilah is speaking about here. Hold on, guys. Okay, bye, Delilah. Happy, happy Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Give a thumbs up like Ron said. Give a thumbs up on the way in. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people are questioning me about the Italian dressing. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised. What I'm surprised about is I am totally surprised that you all have never seen my um, video for my beef roast where I cook it in the Italian dressing. So I'm, I'm totally psyched about this. So I'm excited that you're going to get to see this roast, what it looks like, how it turns out. You're going to get to see this amazing gravy that is formed with this roast beef. And guess what? This roast beef is something you can make for your holiday and take it to your family member's um, dinner table. Absolutely. You bet you can. Oh, yes. So I'm excited for you to see that as well. See, Miss Tasha says I use mine for pot roast all the time. So she uses her Instapot for pot roast all the time. Okay, so uh, she says Mississippi pot roast uses ranch dressing and banana peppers. I, you know what, Mr. Pirate Brain? I had never in my life heard of that mixture, but I don't doubt that it's good. I would just have to try it. I bet you it's good. Oh, I bet you it's good. So listen, right about now, my house smells beautiful. 
The greens are smelling amazing. The pot rolls, believe it or not, is smelling delicious right now. I want to turn around and let me get my apron back on. And I want to turn around <clears throat> and go ahead <clears throat> and get some greens back into my pot because I'm pretty sure by now that the greens have cooked down a bit and I have a nice amount of room to put some more greens in. And like I said, as the greens cook down, you'll have plenty of room to put all of those greens into your pot. And then everything will cook up together. Everything will get tender together. Everything's going to marry and just make a beautiful love session <laughs> in that pot. I don't know if that's what I wanted to say, but that's what came out. <laughs> all right, let's go in. We're going to look at the greens together, okay? All right, you can just... I, I didn't know what I was getting ready to say. Sometimes you say things and you just don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> but I, I, I think that is what is going to happen in this pan, you know? So see how much is cooked down? We can't get too close because we don't want the steam in our camera. But you see that? It's really cooked down. So now get you some more greens in. All right. Beautiful. I may be able to put all the greens in there, but you got to be careful because there's liquid in there. And if you put too much, then the liquid can overflow. Just be careful, you know? Beautiful. Oh, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe the smell right now. Okay, so looks like I got just a little bit of greens here. Okay, and I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we put the lid back on and let this continue to cook. And now the next time we come, and check in on this, we will be, um, uh, what the heck was I going to say? Next time we come in and check on this, we are then going to be able to stir it, stir it around. Remember, we couldn't stir it earlier. We're going to stir it next time. And that way we can get those spices, that onion, that garlic, and everything nice and mixed in, okay? So that's how things is working. <clears throat> Looks like we have to get some more tape, you see, for that. All right, we're in good standing, everybody. Okay, so Miss Tasha, Jeannie, your cooking is so comforting. Let me see. I'm learning how to cook like this for my grandma Estelle passed away at 96 in May. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she was a great cook, you know? Sandy, good afternoon, how are you? Well, it's good evening here. Dina, I just finished watching your chili recipe from two years ago. It's, it's cold and windy there. You said, okay. You said, first time making chili. Okay, listen, enjoy it, Sandy. I'm so glad. All right, let's see, turn it um, open the uh open the lid just a little you see how i'm getting that steam there we go kind of kind of tilt the lid so what 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 i'm having him do right now is tilt the lid a little bit because i'm getting some a lot of water kind of boiling over perfect just kind of uh open the lid it doesn't have to be completely on it that's fine oh that's fine perfect I love your recipes. Thank you, Latasha. Okay, do you still season the chicken when using Italian dressing? Um, I, I normally, <clears throat> I normally don't cook chicken in Italian dressing. There is a lot of people that does. Um, what I would do is if I were to use Italian dressing on chicken, that's a great question. If I, th this is a Band-Aid if anybody's wondering. If I were to use Italian dressing on chicken, what I would be doing is I would be marinating the chicken in Italian dressing. I wouldn't be cooking it in Italian dressing. Okay, so great question there. Dakota's eating, a drinking eggnog. Remember I made the eggnog the other day? Oh my God, can you give me a little bit? Give me a little bit. And I want, <laughs> and I want uh, a little bit of Cool Whip too. <laughs> 
I just see him pour some eggnog and I thought, what? Ain't no way you're going to be drinking some and not offer me some. <laughs> so listen, guys, the other day on live, I made homemade eggnog and it was so delicious. I don't need ice. Nope, no ice, no ice. I don't Because I just want a little bit. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Is your name, what's your name? Sanja Jones. Hey, Gina, looking good. Yes, please try the Mississippi. I'll try it for sure. Gina uses the powder packets of ranch dressing. I use the powder packets a lot. Yes, I do. The eggnog was amazing, says Natasha. Love me some brownies with lots of walnuts. Oh, Debbie, that sounds great. Okay, so Sonia says, Gina, I think the green recipe is going to be the best one yet. My home smells delicious. Okay, my eggnog is all gone. <laughs> oh, this is great. You're going to love it. Now, so um, Lady Linda says, when did cooking become a passion for you? Your excitement makes us exciting. Um, okay, great question. Okay, great question. Thank you, Dakota. I wish you would have gave me, why didn't you give me, give me the clear, give me the clear cup so they can see it. He gave me this, but I don't feel like that's going to show you guys any justice. Let me have the clear. No, -uh. just let, let me pour this in there. <laughs> um, I think it was cold. It was cold and we had, uh, it was very, very cold. So here's what I'm doing, guys. He put um, Cool Whip on there. There is some ice and some nutmeg on top. Um, it, it's, not, it's not really, really warm here. What the heck was Sonia? What did Sonia say? Hold on, I just lost all thought. Gina, your mixed greens video is the bomb. Thank you. Both walnuts and pecan. Oh, you're... Oh, you said I'm messing you up. <laughs> Please answer about the smoked turkey. Did you put water or oil? Please answer about the smoked turkey. Did you put water or oil in the pot first? No, I didn't. I put the greens in the pot first. Okay, let, let's talk about something. I'm not a chef. I'm not a chef. Okay. So what we did today, I put the greens in the pot first, after we cleaned the greens, right? We got them nice and cleaned and cut and we put them in the pot. We got some smoked meat, which was smoked turkey. You could use ham hocks, you could use bacon, you could use a ham bone, whatever you like to use, you could put <clears throat> in your greens. I'm going to talk about two ways that I like to make greens, okay? Let, let's just talk about it. So today what we did, after we got the greens nice and clean, we, we um, put them into a pot. We put score marks onto the smoked turkey, and we nestled them underneath the greens, okay? Until our pot got nice and full with greens that had been cleaned. We put a fresh clove of garlic chopped up on top of the greens. We put a half of an onion chopped up. We seasoned with salt pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, two capfuls of apple cider vinegar, red pepper flakes is optional, and some chicken powder, okay? Now that we have that done, we put two 32 ounces of chicken broth in our greens. And we have decided that we're gonna cook the greens and the meat together. Now, I want you all to keep in mind that the, that the turkey skin has an oil in it. Like I had told you all before, how chicken skin has a natural oil in it, the turkey skin has some oil in there. There are people that like to put a little bit of oil in their greens, and I don't find nothing wrong with that. I actually find it kind of interesting. But I feel like when I'm using meats, my meats is going to give me that oil that I need. You see, especially if you're using ham hocks a ham bone, smoked turkey thighs, smoked turkey wings and legs. There's a natural oil in there that's released into the broth, okay? So now, in my past, <laughs> which might have been a year ago, I, I, I have 
make greens this way. Let's talk about this. What I would do is I would take the smoked meats, no matter what it is, uh, ham, ham bone, uh, uh, ham hock, smoked turkey, whatever. I would put that in broth or water with my onion and garlic and a whole bunch of seasonings and start the cooking process of that meat to make a beautiful, flavorful broth before the greens went in. But what I have learned all my years of cooking is if we do it together, because the greens ha has to cook just as long as the meat has to cook, we can still form that beautiful broth while they both cook together, okay? So you have that option to cook the meat ahead of time and make a gorgeous broth, put your greens into it, or put them all in together and let that broth start to form together while your greens are cooking, okay? So hopefully it wasn't too confusing, but hopefully you can understand. Uh, let me know if you could understand what I just tried to tell you. <laughs> well said, Gina. Thank you, life of the party. <laughs> Thank you, I tried, I tried. Because one thing I love, I love to explain things in detail so people can understand the art of cooking why you would do something, why you would want to do something. Thank you, Ty. Okay, thank you, Brenda. And one thing I love to do is um, understood. Okay, great. One thing I love to do, Tyrese, how are you? One thing I love to do is teach in detail so y'all can understand. I, I don't want to teach somebody something and you can't understand. If you can't understand, always let me know, and I'll see if I can rephrase it so you can understand. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ooh, this eggnog is so good. Oh, my goodness. Ah. I forgot I had the eggnog in there. I seen him pouring that eggnog, and I thought, no, you ain't. You ain't about to drink that in front of me without giving me some. <clears throat> Heidi says, great job, Gina. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I'm here for you. I am here for you. Okay, um, hey, Gina, did you make Buckeyes? I have not. I have not. Oh, you mean have I made them this year? I haven't made them this year a little bit. But I don't know if you know. I love to make Buckeyes. I do have them already on my channel, and I always make them around this season. But I just have to say, I have been so stinking busy this year, I haven't got around to making them. But I most definitely will be making them this Christmas. <laughs> what are Buckeyes? Let's take the microphone off, okay? That way we can charge it up. Buckeyes, and, and now you're going to hear background noise since I've taken the microphone off. Buckeyes are, here Dakota, I'm going to tell you, here plug this up over there, Buckeyes, if you like, let's just put it this way, if you like the Reese, Reese cup peanut butter, Reese's peanut butter cups, you'll love a Buckeye. A Buckeye is a peanut butter and chocolate, I'd like to say dessert or appetizer. And do you all know what a Buckeye looks like on a tree when it falls? Or you know what a Buckeye is that's on a tree? Well, uh, let me see. Here, I'm going to show you. Let me just show you. Okay, you're gonna show them. So I'm gonna show you on the computer. And then I'm gonna talk about how I make them and how I make them look like a buckeye. Buckeyes, a lot of squirrels like to eat them. They're on trees and also people um, will make necklaces and they'll make jewelry out of them. A buckeye is beautiful. So let's start off by showing you what a buckeye is and what it looks like. Okay, you got it? <clears throat> I want to show the real Buckeye first. <clears throat> lemon chest pie, sure. I've made a chest pie, or I've made a lemon cheese pie. It's just like a chest pie. 
if you'd like to check that video out. Okay, let me see. Okay, so this right here, this is a buckeye. This is, they, they grow on trees, and that's what they look like. People make necklaces and jewelry out of them, okay? But that's what they look like, and squirrels eat them. They have like a beautiful nut in the inside, and squirrels love them, okay? <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> you say you learn something new every day. So now, when I make buckeyes, this is what they look like, and then I'm going to talk about how I make them. So you see that there? This is people that has made buckeyes. It looks kind of interesting, right? Because it is. So how do you make it? Well, you start off, you start off making this amazing peanut butter cream, right? How do you make it? Well, you would take, don't quote me on the ingredients because I'm really flowing off the top of my head. I think I'm right. You're going to take peanut butter, butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. Peanut butter, smooth. It cannot be chunky peanut butter. There's always somebody that's going to say, well, I'd like to use chunky. Well, they're not going to turn out right. <laughs> Don't do that. Use the right ingredients. It's always somebody that likes to do that. I want chunky. Can I use the chunky? And I just be thinking to myself, well, go ahead. Go ahead. If that's what you want to do, mess the recipe up. <laughs> All right. Um, butter, vanilla extract, powdered sugar. Mix it, the two together. And guess what? It turns into like this really silky, smooth filling, right? Then you turn around, you make a little ball, make a ball this big. You can make them tiny if you want. So you make them. And then you take some chocolate and you melt the chocolate in the microwave with a little tiny bit of Crisco in the chocolate. The, the Crisco makes the chocolate shiny, believe it or not. So you melt it down for like 30 seconds. Your, your chocolate's melted. Then you take a toothpick and you stick it in your peanut butter bowl that you have. Then you turn around and you dip your peanut butter bowl into the chocolate, making sure you don't cover the whole peanut butter bowl and the top is peanut butter and the whole outside of it is chocolate and it is like it's better than a Reese cup it's better than a Reese cup it's so good and it's easy I always make it but like I said I've been so I've been so busy y'all I have I've been busy can eggnog be frozen I would say no good night Heather Nicole how are you <coughs> It is, Sonia. It's fun. It's fun to make. Valencia says they're good. They are. And to me, I love Reese Cups. I'm one of those people that love Reese Cups. But what I figured out, yeah, the eggnog cannot be frozen. What I figured out is um, making that peanut butter filling it's more smoother than a Reese cup filling and it tastes better. It is so delicious. Have you ever made boiled custard? I have made custard um, a lot. Tarsus, hello. You cannot freeze eggs in the egg. Yeah, no thanks. Don't don't freeze it. You said that sounds good. <laughs> I'm doing your eggnog Thanksgiving. Okay, Lady Linda, that's great. And, and enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, the flavor is just outstanding. Hey, Raymond, how are you? Can you make Buckeyes with white chocolate? Sure you can. Sure you can. Oh, you said ham hocks? Do you need to keep adding water to your greens? Well, eventually, <clears throat> like I said, your greens, the water, the liquid, the broth, whatever you like to call it, it will eventually begin to evaporate. And as it evaporates, 
it's your choice whether you want to keep replenishing it with more broth or with more water. Okay, so it's up to you. But you, one thing you don't want is you don't, you don't want a dry pan. You don't want greens that have no liquid in them, right? So therefore, um, I don't have any more chicken broth, so I'll just be adding water. And as I add water, you kind of dilute your flavor. So several times during the cooking process, you're going to be putting more flavor in. And like I said, we'll go in several times and check in on our greens. And every time I go in and check, I'm not going to do it now. I like to taste the broth to see where I'm at, what the flavor's tasting like. Okay, so that's how that works. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. my lid didn't completely it didn't really fit my pot so what was happening was the liquid was just kind of jumping out the pan onto my burner and kind of burning my burner so what I've done was I found a lid that completely fits the, the pot and that shouldn't happen anymore so I had to we had to find the lid that fits the pot because the lid didn't fit so now we have the lid that fits and that shouldn't happen. Uh-oh, there's trolls in here. All right, let's see. All right. All right. Thank you, Ron. Absolutely. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> here, plug that in. Okay, let me see. Uh, Gina, did not Gina put out a cranberry sauce recipe? I did, Lynette. I put out a cranberry sauce recipe. Yes, I did. And it, listen, it was so good, too. Yes, it was. Did you put the, um, are the balls on the tree? They are? Okay. I, I did make Oreo ice cream, but it was this year. Gina, can you do, hold on, Gina, can you do turkey one day? Yes, on Monday I'm doing turkey. Thank you, Ron. So somebody wanted to know about the turkey. A lot of people was wondering, what's the best kind of turkey I can buy? And, and like I said, I feel like if you know how to make a turkey, it'll turn out delicious. I don't feel like the name brand it's going to be the one that's going to save anybody. I figure that if you learn how to make a turkey the right way, any kind of turkey you make will be delicious. Yes, you don't have to go out and get a butter ball because you think it's the juiciest one. So get the turkey. I'm going to show you all what kind of turkey I'm using. I'm just using a, it's just a store name brand turkey. It's going to be a 15-pound turkey, and this 15-pound turkey is going to cook 
for three and a half hours for 15 pounds until it reaches the internal temperature of 165 degrees. Monday I'm doing the turkey. Now, um, I figured that what I'll do on Monday is I'm going to do the, the turkey video. On, it's going to be a turkey video because I feel like it's going to be too much for people to be patient um, in a live because um, a lot of people want things cooked. You know, so by that turkey having to cook for three and a half hours, it would be, you know, I think the best thing to do would be to bring that to you in video form. But, um, I, what we're going to do, let me tell you what we are going to do. Here's what we're going to do. What is that? What? Oh, okay. Here's what we're going to do. On Tuesday, I'm going live. Guess what? Because the next day I'm having surgery. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Let me see. 12. Yes. Yes. On Tuesday, we're going to go live. Okay. I'm looking at a message. Okay, Tuesday, I'm going live. When I go live on Tuesday, it's going to be 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Gina Young's going to be going live. Okay, I don't know how long we're going to stay on there. Because like I said, on Wednesday, I'm having surgery. All right? Thank you, Mel, that makes sense. Or make that makes sense. <laughs> yes, Shay, thank you. I, I tell you what, I'm excited. I couldn't be more excited. I could not be more excited. I, my nerves is all over the place, but more than anything, I'm excited. <laughs> Take a plain turkey and turn. What do you say, Ron? What did you say? Honey, Miss Gina can take a plain turkey and turn it into a butter <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> All right, give me the turkey so I can show them. Let me see. Yes, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Thank you all. Hey, listen, I love y'all. We're going to have fun Tuesday. We're going to be praying. <laughs> we are. We're gonna be, it's going to be a prayer session. We're going to have a good time, too. Yes, we are. Let me see that turkey. Is, is it um, dripping or anything? It's not? Okay, let me see. Oh, yes. Yes, Heidi, stuff in the turkey can be dangerous if you don't know how to, how to do it. So you see I got the Kroger brand and it just says young turkey. It says young, tender, and juicy. <laughs> and it's only 15 pounds. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to make, go get the sanitizer too, out of my room, on my stand, uh, so I can wash my hands. <clears throat> it's 15 pounds, it's small. And I figured I was gonna get a small one to show you how to do. If I could have got one even smaller than that, then I would have, but I couldn't find one smaller. Yes, young turkey, 15 pounds, about three and a half hours. Yeah, it has Gina's last name. <laughs> Just a young, tender turkey. <laughs> yep, thank you. You see that? And that one? I don't think you're doing something right with the tape. You doing so? See that one? Yours is 16. You wanted a smaller one too. Yeah. Now, uh, when I cook for the holiday, I always use like a 19, 20 pound turkey. I do. I do. But, you know, I'm not cooking this year. I considered myself already cooked Thanksgiving. All the stuff I done made for y'all already, you know. <laughs> I don't mind missing one year of, of not cooking Thanksgiving. I'm okay with that. Geneva, hello, how are you? <clears throat> a 
So now your greens should just be cooking up. I mean, they should be really boiling. You're gonna, right about now, you should start to be seeing your greens change color a little bit from that vibrant green color that like this color to like a, a pale, deeper, deeper green color, like a, a hunter green color. That's what you should start to see. And like I said, once the greens cook down to a certain point where you can get all those greens in and then those cook down a little bit, then we'll go in and finally stir in all of those beautiful spices. <clears throat> um, and then we'll taste the broth to see if it needs re-seasoned. Several times we'll taste that broth to see how much it needs to be seasoned. Yes, Linda, thank you, absolutely. See the what? Yeah, I saw, I saw it. We put, we put this tree right here outside last year. It was outside, but it, that bad boy was blowing in the wind. Oh my goodness. And it was blowing in the wind and it bit. So we figured, let's just bring it in this year. It, the wind the wind was blowing so hard last year. It bent that thing. We had to unbend it. What are we making Tuesday? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we're definitely going live. How about that? Um, if I decide that I'm going to cook on Thursday, I mean on Tuesday, um, I'll let y'all know in the community post what we're going to make. We could make the Buckeyes if you wanted to. <laughs> but we'll just see. All depend on how I'm feeling. Because I know, I know I'm going to be really excited. On, I'm excited today. I know I'm going to be really excited on Tuesday. I might not be able to concentrate cooking live. He said cereal on Tuesday. <laughs> yes. Yes, Elizabeth. What kind of greens you cooking? I just got here a little bit ago. Well, I made um, collard greens and mustard greens. I love, love, love mustard greens. Mustard greens are my favorite. So I figured I'd cook them and mix them with collards. And we got some smoked turkey meat in there. <clears throat> oh, you do, Miss Tasha. Okay, so Brenda Hill says, I made your, what did you make? Your turkey recipe last year and it was so tender. Oh, Brenda, that's great. That's great. I, I love to hear that. When y'all make something of mine, I promise you that's gonna be good. And then you message me and say, hey, I made something of yours and it was delicious. <laughs> Take a break on Tuesday, yeah. But here's the thing. I, I do have to just say this. Uh, Lynn is saying, take a break. I don't consider what I do um, it stressful in any way. I'm in my element when I'm cooking with you all. And when I go live, it's not stressful. So I'm not really, you know, it's different if I feel like I'm working. You know, I don't feel like I'm doing anything, you know, stressful when I'm doing, when I'm going live or anything. So I think, I'm definitely going live. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be cooking. Oh, thank you, SWS. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting started on them. You can see something up there. It's like a little bit of garland. And then there's a tree in the office. I think, I, I, maybe I'll show you. Let me go take you that way and I'll show you. Is the office clean? I don't know if my office is clean. The tree's up. I ain't taking you if the office ain't clean. <laughs> is the office clean? Hey, I could totally take y'all in there and it's a mess. Let's go see together. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll go see together. There's one of the fish tanks. Look at the babies. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Okay. 
So I, I, I like to say this looks like it's pink, but it's not. It's red, okay? It is red, white, and green. And then there's some Christmas pillows. So we've started, but we got still got a, a lot of things to fix in here. See, we got, we got to get all this stuff over here in this corner. Get that stuff out of there. <laughs> got a ladder over there. Get out of there. <laughs> it is so cozy in there. Whoop. Whoop. Almost lost y'all. My goodness. Thank you. Thank you. We got a lot, a lot to do. We're, we're getting there. Because we wanted to get it done now. Because once I have surgery, I'm not going to be able to help them with different things. You know, we got some people coming to do um, the lights outside. One company came to do the lights outside, but we canceled with them because they didn't keep their promise. Their promise to us was. If we kept them next year, which is this year, that they would give us a discount. And when they came, they gave us the same price from last year. My husband said, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh. He said, I'll call somebody else. He said, I want you to keep your promise. He said, if y'all told me if I use you next year, I'm getting a discount. <laughs> he did. He said, then I want a discount. They said, we'll give you 10%. My husband said, no, uh-uh. Uh, he said, uh-uh. So we called another company, and they're coming soon. <laughs> Here in a couple of days to put lights up outside. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. How's Helen doing? He did. He told them no. They was out there. They was out there in the cold, ready. And I said, well, what's the price? I said, is the price still the same as last? Well, yeah. No, well, no. I, said, I told him, I said, my husband said no. I said, they promised us a discount. And they said, well, our, our company, someone bought our company out, so we don't know. And my husband said, we'll switch to somebody else. If you can keep your promise. <laughs> you know, they still got our information. They still came on the date that they, you know. <laughs> I want to check the greens and I feel like we should check the greens together because I want for you all to take a look down in the pot so you can see exactly what's happening. Okay, so Ron is saying my best turkey ever was years ago when Gina showed me how to brown my turkey. He said, yet it was juicy. My family were excited. I was so proud. I did it, Miss Gina. <laughs> oh, that's great, Ron. Uh, Nicole says, that's it. I don't blame him one bit. <laughs> and guess what? They charge you a nice amount to do them lights, too. You hear me? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And they didn't keep up with their promise on a discount? Uh-uh. We call, we call another company. My husband said, I would rather call another company and pay more money than let them do me like that. Don't promise me something, and then you don't follow through with it. <laughs> you see? And I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, so now let's look at the greens together. All right, you'll be able to see what they look like. We're gonna be able to go in and give them a nice stir because everything's kind of shrunk down a little bit. Now you can get in that pot and stir things around. Because earlier, yes, you can check your greens. Because earlier, you couldn't get in there and stir things around. Everything would go flying everywhere. So now that everything's died down a little bit and shrunk down, let's go in and check them. Get you a nice long spoon, because you don't want to burn yourself, and let's stir everything. Let's stir that garlic. Stir those onions and spices. And you can also taste the broth. All right, can I get a cameraman, please? Okay, yes, son, I'm ready. Come on in, and we can check the greens together. All right, I'm not gonna bring you all too close because uh, bringing you too uh oh bringing you too close will mess up my camera. Okay, so let's let the steam do what it needs to do real quick. 
And you see that the color, the color has changed. All right, you see we got a nice amount of broth in there. Go ahead, put that garlic, put that onions in there, get those spices mixed up. Oh, yes. Listen here, we're really cooking here at the Young's house, and I couldn't be more excited to share this recipe with you. Listen here. If you're cooking it Gina Young style, you're doing something right. So now, if I take a look at the meat, I do just have to step in real quick and say, my meat has a long way to go. How long, Gina? Well, not too long, but it's just not fork tender yet, you know? Oh, but see, my, my, my spoon went right through. <laughs> so you know we're getting there, right? Yes, we are. So that just, that just helped me understand how tender the meat is getting. It's begin. look at that. So it is beginning to get there, but we're just not quite there yet. So if you can, by all means, cover the meat up. Okay, everything's looking good. And I'm going to taste my broth. Let me grab a spoon. And I want to see what the broth tastes like. I'm not looking to taste the greens. Because if you taste the greens right now, they'll have absolutely, like, they won't taste right. Because they're not done. So what we're going to do, let's let this cool down. Okay? Let it cool down. Cool down. You just get nice and cool so I can taste it. Okay, hold on. Let's taste. Look, look. That's what they call hot liquor. And on this little spoon right here is amazing flavor that you could just drink. It's so good. Okay, so let's do it. Mm. <laughs> Listen. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. Right now, I don't feel the need to re-season it. Not right now. Doesn't mean that I won't season it a little later. It tastes beautiful. We will season it later, but right now, we're okay. Let's just let it cook down. Let that meat get tender. Let those greens get tender, and we'll come back and check in on it. But I want you, I want you to have patience. Got to have patience in the kitchen in order to have amazing food to the young style, okay? If you got patience, it's going to turn out good. Oh, and they're going to beg you. They are. They're going to beg you for more. <laughs> yes, they are. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming with you. How'd that look? How did that look? It's looking good and we're getting somewhere. Wanda says, yum. Oh, Wanda says, yum. Absolutely, Ty. Hey, we're getting there. And like I said, if you can have patience, mm, mm, mm. do we add the rest of the grains? Absolutely. Great question, because guess what? I forgot I had a little bit more greens left. Can you go ahead and put those greens in for me? Wash your hands. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yes, add your other grains. She used collard greens and mustard greens. Yes, you missed it. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. Checking in from Philadelphia. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. V. Sanford, hello. You have a beautiful kitchen. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Um, thank you for your excellent hygiene. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Did you put the rest of the greens in the pot? Uh, they're putting them in right now. They're going in. The rest of the greens are in right now. Okay, Natasha says amazing. Okay, Sonia says my greens are looking great. Absolutely they are. I know, I know they are. I know they are. You can go ahead, get you got, um, you, you got uh, another cookie sheet. Get your other cookie sheet and turn the oven on 350. You wanna make sure nothing is in the oven, okay? And those little bit of dishes in there, I need those done, okay? He's about to make some baked cookies. Oh, thank you, my, 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 how do I see your name? Uh, my, I don't know how to say your name. M-L-Y-S-S-A. Thank you. 
I just love collard greens for Thanksgiving, says Wanda Barnes. I'm late joining. What smoked meat is that? The smoked meat is, that you just saw was a smoked turkey uh, thigh. But you are more than welcome. And, but, but, but then also, um, thank you, Heidi. Um, I have a turkey leg in there as well. I left it off. Um, go ahead and put the lid on it, okay? Go ahead and put the lid on. Don't put those cookies too close together because you know what? They'll, they'll stick together. And you can't put them in the oven until that oven's preheated to 350. Oh, smoked neck bones. That's, some, that's a great addition to put in there. Absolutely it is. Have you ever made some strawberry cake before? I have. Yes, I have. My husband likes strawberry cake. Gina, I cooked a bag of turnips and a bag of kale yesterday. Have you used smoked turkey butts? I have not. A lot of people use them, but I, I haven't. Um, counting the days down to make the baked mac and cheese. Oh, I know you are. I'm definitely making greens for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and you see, Vanessa, she, she just did greens, green beans. Yeah, yeah I did. Um, oh, what the heck was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. Xander D. Dog says, make that make sense. That's so true because some cooking YouTubers, not that clean. And I turned the channel. Oh, my goodness. Ooh oh, so Ron says the mac and cheese. Oh, man. Gina, oh, thank you, Jackie. Um, has Saj been in here in the live? I have. I don't know. Cook the mixed greens from Gina's video from my sister-in-law's birthday celebration, and they were the bomb. Just wasn't enough. Oh, my goodness. You got to make sure you get enough. Gina, do you ever cook your greens in chicken broth and meat only? That's what I did today. Chicken broth and the meat. I mean, but I, I still always use you know, the, the, um, the garlic and the onion as well, you know. Oh, thank you, Angel. Have you ever heard of smoked turkey butts? Yes, I have. Um, but I just don't, uh, you know, I, I, I haven't been able to find them, but I do love the flavor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All my recipes, my family knows this Gina's because they have flavor. <laughs> Not today, Sonia. Haven't seen Saj or Christopher. Oh my goodness, I hope they're okay. Amanda, hello, Amanda. How are you? <laughs> so if you're cooking uh, your greens, make sure they're up like medium high medium high not high don't have it on high okay but then um and if at any time if at any time if at any time you are cooking and your liquid leaves make sure you replenish it with water okay because you don't want greens that don't have that amazing pot liquor on it Medi you can do medium if you want but medium high Let's see, Gina, what else can I use with sodium salt? Hold on. So Ma Maya says, Gina, what else can I use without sodium to cook my stuff? I can't use the cream of chicken. Why? Too much sodium. Um, Myers or Maya. I just did a live. I believe it was like a week or a week and a half ago showing you how to make a homemade holiday dressing and i did not use the cream of chicken or the cream of uh, mushroom please check that recipe out and try to make it that way and you can always watch your salt and then also in that uh, live i show you all an amazing chicken powder that i was able to find in my local market and the chicken powder is low sodium. So not only is that chicken powder low sodium, 
uh, it's delicious. Y'all know I, I stand by chicken powder because I love it so much. It has salt in it, right? But I was able to find one in my market that's low sodium. So you can use that and get a lot of flavor into your dressing. You do not have to make dressing using cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, okay? I don't do cash out. I'm not interested in it. So Vita Seal says, what's your cash out? Um, if you want to contribute, you can give me a super chat or a super sticker. I don't do cash out. I just don't. Oh, you don't like the cream of mushroom? Let me see. Oh, yours came out dry last year. Okay, Maya. So listen, make sure you check out my live where I made homemade holiday dressing. You're going to love this video, okay? And I also speak a lot about in that live how a lot of people's turn out dry and how to prevent your dressing from turning out dry. So I do a lot of teaching in that live. When I, you'll see it. You'll see the, uh, uh, jump out real quick and see if you see my live. Go to the live, not the videos, but go to my live and see if you see the dressing. Okay, so Ron says, it's true, Miss V. 1962, I was afraid to season my food too much. Barely. He said, Miss Gina's first lesson was about, <laughs> you don't season your food, then your food will be tasteless. Yes, and he did. He really did. He told me. He said, Gina, I learned. He said, I learned how to season from you. And I said, that's great because that's what I want to teach the world, you know? <laughs> how did they turn out? Tender as heck, right? <laughs> Check Walmart for unsalted cream of chicken soup. Yeah, you can use that, but I just have to be honest. Um, the unsalted uh cream of chicken soup and the unsalted cream of mushroom soup, I think it tastes disgusting. So I would suggest that she make it without it and it'll be good. Oh, I promise you. I couldn't wait. Okay, so Brandy says, I couldn't wait for Thanksgiving. I made your chicken and dressing and baked mac and cheese the other day. I just couldn't help it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great, Brandy. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. I'm doing the mac and cheese and dressing. Gina, why don't you use ketchup? Or you said ketchup or you saying cash app? I, I just don't. A, a lot of YouTubers, they'll use it because they say YouTube takes an amount when you give a super chat, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. They can take some and I can take some. <laughs> you know, hey. You know, but when it comes to Cash App, I just, I, I don't, I don't get into that. Giving y'all a Cash App so you can send me money. If, if y'all want to contribute to the channel, you can send a super chat. And you can see at the bottom where there's a dollar sign. You can, you can contribute that way. But I don't do Cash App. I don't do Venmo. I don't do none of that stuff. I just don't. Uh-oh, somebody, I think somebody says salt make the world go round. You can only put one in at a time. No, you can put it, put it on the bottom rack and turn them both. Hey, Gina, what you did in 2016? Hey, Gina, what you did in 2016? I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, Gina, what you did in 2016? What does that mean? Thank you, blessings, love. Thank you, Ty. It makes sense. She just put the full recipe. Uh-huh. On the yes, thank you, Debbie. That really helps. New to your channel. My girlfriend follows you often, and she is a good cook. Welcome, Barbara. Everybody, welcome Barbara to uh, my channel and and her girlfriend. Welcome both of you to Gina Young's channel. Thank you for coming in. What did you say? Last night I made garlic and honey pork chops. It was delicious. Yeah, Devana, Devana Thomas says, I don't do Cash App either. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. I don't want nothing to do with it. Thank you, Sonia. 
Uh, you said no hard feelings. I don't use it either. <laughs> yeah. My family will only eat your dressing recipe. Oh, my goodness. Now, I have to say this. I, I will say this. Yeah, I have to just be real and say this. Now, okay, so I've made dressing using the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom. And then I make a dressing without it. Thank you, Maya. There you go. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so I've made dressing. I've made dressing without it. I've made dressing with the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom. I feel like the dressing that I made without it was the best. If you were to ask me which one was the best, but then if you turn around and you ask me also, but do you like the one that you made? You know, do you also like the one you made with the cream soups? I do, but I can still stand strong and say, that dressing that I made you all the other day, listen here, it was astonishing. It was so delicious. You hear me? And I showed them, I talked to them in detail. I showed them what, where they're going wrong because people were saying that their dressings was dry. I explained to you in detail on that live why people's dressings was dry. That was one of the best dressings that I ever tasted. I couldn't stop eating it. We didn't make nothing with it, I don't think, but it was delicious. Amanda Carr, thank you. Amanda, thank you. Thank you, Angel. Sheila says, I agree. How are the greens? And they're coming along. They are coming along. But please keep in mind, when you're making greens, you gotta have time. Okay, when you're cooking greens, you gotta have time because they take time. You know, they, they do. They take time to cook. And if you don't have the time, then it's not the recipe for you. But when it's the holiday, put some special time aside. Put some special time aside and you say, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to make Jeannie Young sweet potato pies. <laughs> I'm going to make time for it. I'm going to make time to bake me some macaroni and cheese. I'm going to make time to make me some greens. And then here's the thing about the greens. You can mm, listen here. You can freeze those greens. Yes, you can. You can freeze those greens. But you make sure you don't put them in the freezer hot got to make sure you don't do that you got to let them cool down first and then you put them in your freezer but you can have them for several days and they I mean it's just like they are so succulent and like somebody was speaking earlier um, somebody was speaking earlier uh, thank you Nicole I don't know somebody was speaking earlier what was I saying they were saying I don't know, because guess what I started thinking about? I started thinking about the lady's little boy, Nay. His birthday is today. And I told Nay to remind me so we could sing happy birthday to Nay. So how about we all, if y'all could do this right now, I'm going to slice a little tiny piece of cake for him. Or I'll show the cake so he can see the cake. Um, she, she said to her son, birthday is today and he has autism could you say happy birthday to him so i just wanted to reiterate that and sing happy birthday to him real quick if y'all could type up happy birthday i believe she spelled his his name n a y thank you bren thank you you're amazing too all right so listen let me get my cake out and we're gonna sing happy birthday to this little boy all right if y'all can put hearts in the comment section for him or birthday cakes balloons whatever we can do for nay we want to wish him a happy happy birthday okay and i'm gonna sing it let me get my little cake for him Let's sing it. Carrot cake. A little carrot on the top. Happy birthday, Nay. Hopefully your mom is still watching. Hopefully you're watching. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nay. Happy birthday to you. Cake. Cake time. Happy birthday, Nay. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have a blessed, happy birthday, and a, bl a blessed every day in Jesus Christ's name with God on your side. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Happy birthday, Nay. I hope your mom gets to see this right now because we appreciate having you all join our channel today. All right? So happy birthday, Nay. This cake is for you, buddy. Thank you all for wishing Nay a beautiful happy birthday. I, I sure appreciate it. Maybe I'll get me a piece of that cake later. As I tell you one thing, it sure looked good. <laughs> it looked good. Yes, Nay, happy birthday. Angel, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Angel. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know if his mom is still in here. I, I just, his mom is still here. She appreciate. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. I, I just, I, I was answering somebody or I was saying something, but the name just popped back in my head. Let me say happy birthday. <laughs> Okay, this is great. Thank you all for wishing him a happy birthday. I hope that he got to see that cake and get kind of excited, you know? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. But, you know, birthdays are really special. Birthdays are really special. And anytime we get to celebrate a birthday with a loved one for another year. You know, when we had the pandemic going around, you just didn't know who was gonna be here for another birthday. And I am just so grateful for all of the birthdays that we get to see anymore, you know? Because like I said, wow, when the pandemic was really, really bad, it was just like, man, you know? But we, we you know, we got a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Xander says they just sang it Stevie Wonder style. <laughs> I didn't make the carrot. I didn't make the carrot cake. I just purchased it uh, for dessert. Don't forget your cookies in the oven. <laughs> he didn't forget his cookies in the oven, Lord. Your cookies. Oh no. Your cookies. I've been losing my voice. <laughs> He saw it. He got excited. Let me see. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. That's great. That's great. <laughs> okay, so Marietta, thank you. You said you're a great teacher. You take your time and explain everything clearly. I try my best. Somebody had asked me, they said, Gina, are, are you or have you been a teacher? <laughs> like, were you ever a teacher? Because you teach very well. I just, I just, I, I'm, I'm saying no to that, but I want to teach people in detail. So they can understand the art of cooking, why you would do something, why you would not want to do something when cooking. I want for, thank you, Peach Sangria. Lord, teach us to number our days so that we gain a heart of wisdom. Thank you, Peach Sangria. Um, let's see, you said there's a bot. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, I got them. Let me make sure I got them. All right. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> so I, I want to go in and I want to check my greens again. We put the last little bit of the greens in. I do want to check it all over again just to see what's going on. Pete Sangria, thank you so much. Thank you all for the super chats. You said Justin, Justin Bieber started playing. Yes, thank you. Sonia says, thank you for letting us know. Absolutely. All 
All right, so now let's go in, let's check on our greens again. And if you want, every time you check in on your greens, go ahead and taste them. If you want to season, put some more seasoning. What kind of seasoning is what I put in if I want to season? Well, you would do um, the same seasonings. You know, the salt, the pepper. Thank you, Alfre. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you just use the same seasonings. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Red pepper flakes if you want. A little bit of sugar if you want. You can also put uh, the vinegar in if you like, okay? So you taste it, see what you think, if you need more or if you just wanna follow me. If you want to, you can follow me and I'll show you what spices I decide to put in again. It's gonna be the same thing, but it'll just be in a smaller amount, okay? And we're gonna just keep, keep on seasoning until we get that flavor that we are looking for, okay? Let's go in. I know, I, I, listen, we all do. I, I, when them trolls come in, I'll be like, uh-uh, you got to go. All right. How's the cookies looking? Are the cookies okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got some beautiful cookies going. Okay. Wait for the steam. Don't go in on that steam, guys. I don't want you to get her. Oh, so look at this. So now I want you to see what's happening to my... Aha! Uh -huh. Now, did you see that? Oh, I know you can see it. The meat is falling off the bone. You hear me? And hot diggity dog, that's what we're looking for. I didn't just say hot diggity dog, did I? Yes, I did, and I meant every bit of it. So now, at some point of this recipe, what we will do is we will be going in grabbing the meat whether it was um, a ham hock or whether it was smoked turkey uh, i'd like to say in 15 minutes we're going to go in grab our meat out of the pan my, my mouth is salivating <laughs> did y'all just see me go we're going to grab the meat out of the pan put the meat on the cutting board and then we're going to just take two forks and we're going to shred all the meat off that way we can get rid of the skin, get rid of the bones, and then that shredded meat goes back into your greens. And once that happens, you know you're moving along in the right direction and your greens are almost done. How about that? Let's look back in the pan because I'm excited. <laughs> Let's look back in the pan because I'm excited. Oh, wait. Listen here. Oh, wait. Make you some Gina Young style. You won't be let down, I promise you. Okay, so what I want to do... I want to taste it one more time. I'm just going in for a little bit of juice, not the greens. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. I'm going to grab my seasonings. Y'all can stay right there. I'm going to show you how much of everything I've decided to put in. Because I do feel like it needs more seasoning. Let me grab my seasonings. Okay. So what I'm going to do... I'm gonna put some chicken powder. Oh, yes, mommy. I'm gonna put some onion powder. And I'm not afraid to season. Red pepper flakes only if you want it. My husband loves it. Okay, black pepper. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put garlic. And look at them just sizzling away. Do I wanna say sizzling or boiling? <laughs> not sizzling, Gina. Let's put two capfuls. And that's, I'm not using no more vinegar. If you're not a vinegar person, you don't have to use it or you can just completely back up on the vinegar, okay? So then, there's one more thing that I want to use, okay? And what it is, is I have to use two pinches of sugar. I'm gonna do it. Some people don't agree with it, but guess what? I love it. And if you like a little umami in your life, make them say, ooh, mommy, then you're gonna use some. There's one pinch, here's two pinches, but it's not enough to make it sugary. I'm telling you, like I'm, I'm telling you the truth when I say this. 
It's just enough to give them an amazing flavor, right? But not enough to make it sweet, okay? So now stir it in. In 15 minutes, we're gonna come in. Let's look at that turkey leg, okay? Oh, look, falling apart, look at that. Okay, 15 minutes, oh, yes, Lord. In 15 minutes, we're taking the meat out, okay? And you're gonna take your meat out. You're gonna put your meat right onto your cutting board. Okay. All right, we're moving in the right direction. You guys are doing great. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Can you clean this up, please? Yes. For the people, for the people, the people, the people, the people that cook greens with me today. Somebody tell me something. I need to know something. I need to know what your greens are looking like, what they're smelling like. Did you taste it? What are you thinking? Somebody tell me something. Oh, Derek says honey would be good in it. What, what's he talking about? Gina, those greens look good. Did you see, did you see somebody tell me? Yes, the rest of the onion will go in when we take the meat off, and, and then we'll put that extra onion in, okay? Uh, see, see, okay, I don't know what your name is, um, but Angie and Ange, Angie Vins 86 says, yes, the vinegar and the sugar is the MVP of the pot liquor. She's, she's saying that's like what you have to have. Hold on, guys. That's like what you need in it for it to taste good is that little bit of sugar i told you i told you that little bit of sugar gives them mm, mommy Woo, make them say oh mommy yes so remember i told y'all the other day i cut my finger on the um my new chopper so here's what it looks like this is completely dry but i could actually feel I can feel the salt go in it. So that's why I put the Band-Aid on because I didn't want to feel the salt. But I tell you what, I've been trying to air it out so it dries up. It's actually dried up, but the cut looks much better than it was, you know. Ah, <laughs> my holy king, I like that. If you love greens, you'll hit that like button. You can use honey or sugar. I, ne I never heard of putting honey in it, Sonia, I don't know. I don't know. I heard somebody on here just say you could use honey. I never, ever put honey in mine. Never, ever. I don't suggest it, but I did see somebody on here say it. But I would just use sugar if I was you. Okay, your cookies are good. Go ahead and take them out now. Listen to me. When you take your cookies out, don't, don't mess with them yet because you got to let them cool down enough to where you can move them, right? If you move them right now, what's going to happen? They're going to smash. Okay. Oh, your mother, Peach Sangria, says your mother used honey in her grains. I have never heard of that in my life. But I tell you what, I never, ever will knock something until I try it. Yeah, I had salt on it. That's why y'all see me stop everything and go put a Band-Aid on. <laughs> because I've been letting it air out. It finally dried. It just never closed. But <coughs> when I was cleaning them greens, I felt some salt, and I thought, oh, Lord, <laughs> it, it, it was, <coughs> excuse me, stinging. Never heard of it, that person above. <coughs> Hold on, guys.
them and get those greens up off the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, everyone. I closed some of the curtains. Dakota can close the rest. I closed curtains on this side of the house. He can get these curtains on this side of the house. <sighs> she needs some good neosporin. I did, but what was happening was the neosporin wasn't letting it. The neosporin will keep it um, uh, moist. And since it's on the finger area, you know, it's not like on the skin. Since it's on the finger, it's hard, it's hard to heal because that's an area that you're constantly using, you know. So the neosporin keeps infection out. So I did use that the first, maybe one first day. But then a couple days after that, I uh, stopped using the neosporin because I wanted it to dry up. Well, it dried up. I just didn't close up, you know. You want to close the office or you want the tree to show to the office? All right, truck, close that hallway light out. The shack is back. I smell greens. Who's that? <laughs> it should be. It is. It's definitely healing up. I know. I know. He always tried to scare me. <laughs> To my who's looking in the window. We go through that every... Here, here. Take that. Listen, I'm going to be showing you all my roast. I'm going to be showing you this roast. And when I open up the Instapot, you're going to say, hot dog. You're going to say, hot diggity dog. You might say something else. I don't know what else you could say. But I can only imagine when you see this roast. Now, the roast is telling me it has about 30 minutes. And I'm okay with that. Because um, here in about 10 more minutes, I know I said 15 minutes, but I think five minutes has already went by, uh, we'll be taking our meat. Now, when you use turkey wings and turkey legs, sometimes you'll have like little pin bones in it. You just pull it out. Okay. It, it's a long bone. Okay. But we're literally going to take the meat out of the pan. Like I said, you can take two forks and just shred that beautiful meat. And if you had a ham hock, you just cut the meat off the bone, and then the meat goes back into your grains, and you discard of the bone, discard of the skin. I love to smell greens cooking, says Denise. I do too. I do too. I, what I love about greens is I love eating it with cornbread, right? And my second thing that I love is drinking the juice, because the juice is amazing. Here's what my husband does. If my husband makes me a bowl of greens, he will put a little tiny bit of vinegar on my bowl, in my bowl, and a little tiny bit of hot sauce and cornbread. And like I said, I just eat it like this and I can't stop because it's so stinking good and it was so easy to make. <laughs> yes, Raymond says hot sauce. Absolutely. Oh, she does. She eats chow chow with her greens. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> Bingo, Raymond. Says Sonia. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, my goodness. Elizabeth, let's talk about it. Uh-oh, Elizabeth says, I'm halfway through the book, Gina. The shack. She says, I love it. <laughs> I am so glad. Tell me where you're at in the book. Don't, don't spoil nothing, but just tell me where you're at. I have watched Disney Junior before, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know Dakota watches it a little bit. Uh-huh. Let me see. Gina, yellow always. Oh, thank you, Denise. What about hot water cornbread? I have a recipe for it on my channel. It's easy to make. Um, it's delicious. But I must say, this summer, this summer that just passed, 
I did a recipe for you all, showing you all how to, how to make cornbread. That was by far my favorite cornbread recipe that I've ever made for you all. When I say it was easy to make and it was delicious, it was fluffy, it was moist, it was savory, it was sweet. It was everything you're looking for for a cornbread recipe. So what I want you to do if you're looking for if you're looking for a good cornbread recipe, you use that one I did this summer. This was another fun live. Thank you, Ty. Hey, listen, is Mildred in here? You never really comment, uh, but you showed me a lot of food to cook. You've been hooked ever since. Oh, Christ. <coughs> live entertainment. Welcome. Everybody, welcome Christ Live Entertainment. Thank you for coming in and joining us. <coughs> Have you ever put oysters in dressing? Yes, you had it once and you enjoyed it. My grandma, Sue, she was in here. Yeah, I knew she was. Okay, okay, she must have left. Um, what the heck was I getting ready to say? Ah, let me go back and look. Okay, so I feels like I'm reading the Bible. Did you ever get that feeling? Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. <coughs> I'm sorry for the cough, guys. Y'all know I've been trying to get rid of this cough for a couple weeks now, and it's not going anywhere. And my doctor assured me that you're okay. <laughs> my doctor said, you ain't wheezing. I said, I'm wheezing. <laughs> the doctor said, you ain't wheezing. <laughs> I thought that was real funny because I'm going in there telling her that I'm wheezing. She said, no, it's just a cough. She said, but your cough, it's going to go. She said, it will eventually leave. You just can't do nothing but wait on it. So she assured me, you're okay. You don't have a whooping cough or nothing, you know. So I thought that was funny because I was, I, I was adamant at telling her that I'm wheezing. Listen to my chest. She said, no, your chest is fine. <laughs> Good night, Lynn. Thank you for coming in. All oh, your welcome, Christ Live Entertainment. Yeah, I don't think she's on here, but she was. Gina, where did you get that gift tree from? My husband purchased it. Um, there you are. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there she is. She's still here. <laughs> My husband purchased it um, years ago. We've had that. We've had this tree right here for many, many years. I, I don't remember where he purchased it from, but if he comes up here, I'll definitely ask him. Yeah, Debbie said her cough stayed forever. Uh huh. And that's why. And like I said, when I told my doctor, she was just she kind of like, no, your cough is fine. <laughs> Like, it's normal. You'll get over it. That's how she was acting. But you're not wheezing. That's what she said. I'm like, but it, it sounds like it. She's like, no, your lungs sound good. I thought, okay. <laughs> I feel like I wanted her to say you're wheezing because I felt like that. <laughs> oh, oyster, cra oyster dressing question. Now, he said his linger for years too. Okay. It's, I'm at a birthday party and I'm holding my youngest grandson. He's 10 months old and he is asleep. Oh my goodness. Oh, sweet. oh, can you, can you smell him for me? I love to smell babies. I love to smell them right here. And just like put your nose on his nose. Like smell his nose and his neck for me. <laughs> I'm so serious. I love to smell babies. Um, you like the bluefish tank. Thank you. Um, oysters. Okay. I feel like I want to do another oyster dressing recipe for you all. And how about I decide to do that one for Christmas for y'all, if that's okay. Because, you know, it's time for me to get surgery. Cause I'm, and I'm not going to be doing many holiday recipes because I'm going to go to surgery. But for Christmas, I, I'm going to do holiday recipes, right? I can show you how to make oyster dressing. 
I've already showed you how to make oyster dressing before, but I have a better recipe. I have a better recipe. And I even feel like the recipe that I have on there, I'm gonna delete that video. Although I'm happy with it. Yes, I'm happy with it. But I like this recipe better that I have in my head. And what I'm gonna do different than what I did with the other oyster recipe is I use raw oysters in that recipe that's uploaded. This recipe that I'll be showing you in Christmas time, I'm gonna use smoked oysters. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be like a million times better. The texture of the oyster is gonna be better. So I, that's something that I would love to recreate. And I'm gonna, because I love oyster dressing. And like I said, I have a better way. I have a better way. And when I do it, I'm putting the smoked, they come in a little can like, you know how uh, the sardines and tuna comes in that type of can? Get the smoked oysters and get maybe, I don't know, eight cans. You're gonna use those oysters and put it in there and it is gonna be splendid. And I feel like that's gonna give me the same taste of my grandma Seward, my grandma Seward's oyster dressing. Yes. And so that's why I, 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 I have to change it. Oh, guess what? This is like nuts. Guess what my husband did? You know how we got a whole lot of fish, right? We got fish here in the living room. We got fish in another room. We got fish tanks full of fish. <laughs> my husband has always loved sardines. He's always loved Kemp, the Kempers. Like he'll put some hot sauce and some mustard on them, put them on a cracker and enjoy it, right? <laughs> he went, he was hungry one night. He didn't know what to eat. So he went in this pantry that we have and he got, he said, oh, he said, read this for me. He couldn't read it. He couldn't read the writing because I, I think it was nighttime or something or his eyes was blurry or something. He, I said, I was, I was like, it say hot sauce on it, right? He was like, oh, hot sauce, I'm about, I'm about to get some of this. He was like, I'm about to put some mustard on there on some crackers. And he came back in. He said, you know what? He said, I opened that can up. He said, and I couldn't do it. I said, why? I said, why? And he was like, because it looked like all my fish was just in there laying on top of each other in that can. <laughs> in that can. I said, what'd you do? He said, I threw the whole can away. <laughs> he said, it looked like my fish was in there just all laid on top of each other <laughs> with no heads. He said, I couldn't do it. He said, uh-uh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> all right, all right, listen. Sonia, it is funny, right? Everybody, and I wanted to see the can, but I was in bed, like I said, it was late. We had the lights out. But if it was daytime and I was up, I, I would have got up to look at that to see what he was seeing. He said, look like all oh, my fish was in there laying on top of each other. He said, uh-uh, threw the whole thing away. <laughs> okay, listen, let's go to the pan, get the meat, uh, the fish probably. <laughs> oh, no, what I was saying, Sonia, let's get our meat out of our pan, shred the meat off, throw the skin away, throw the bones away, and let's get the meat back into the pan. I'm going to flip this camera around. we got to wash our hands, okay? Let's do this. Oh, guess what I did, guys? Guess what I did? I took my before pictures. I took my before pictures, and I couldn't figure out what picture I was going to use. So I got about eight or nine pictures, and I hate every single one of those pictures. So I'm going to use the worst picture. I'm going to use the worst picture, and I'm holding my stomach. Like, I'm, I got some sweatpants on, and I'm holding my stomach like this. Oh, it's, it's a horrible picture. And so I think I found the perfect picture to use for my before picture, and I think y'all are going to love I don't know why, but I think y'all are going to love this picture. <laughs> and I, I cut my face off, though, so I'm not using my face. There's a little bit of my mouth showing, I think. All right, listen. You got to look bad in the picture. <laughs> I can see you, Ron. Yes, I can. <laughs> he said, can you see me? Yes, I can. All right.
Let's go ahead. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you don't need to come that close because I'm getting ready to take the meat out. Okay, let's get our hands washed first, okay? Got to have impeccably clean hands. <clears throat> All right. But I do want you all, can you show them the kitchen, what everything's looking like and how clean everything is? So if you take a look, you will literally see that there's not a mess, you know? And um, since there's not a mess, guess who's stress-free? I am. I'm stress-free because everything's nice and clean. Now, I want to put the microphone on so you can hear me well. All right, you guys should be able to hear me. Tell me if they can hear me. Can y'all hear me if y'all can hear me? Yes, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get the pan. Just put that pan over there. All right. And I'm taking the uh, meat off of the bone. <clears throat> now, it might happen where you try to pull your meat out and everything falls off. If that happens, you might have to, like, go fishing, you know, for your... Uh, for your bone. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, and look, my, can you come in and look at something real quick? My meat from my chicken, or, or from my turkey thigh, is just shredding off. So I'm just gonna do that in the, in the pan. Right, that's how tender that was, you see that? And then I'm just left with the bone. Hey, there is some skin that I'll take out Okay, but for the most part, that meat shredded. Will you, you seen it? You seen it? Come on in, come on in, come on in and look at it. Now, remember I told you if you were using a um, turkey leg, sometimes the turkey wings has this little pin bone, okay? It's easy to find. It's nothing that's going to keep you stressed out. You just, when you see them, you just get rid of it, okay? That comes, and, and let, me, let me change what I just said. This is only in the turkey leg. Just a little bone, just get rid of it, you know? It's not in the turkey wing. Please excuse me for saying that. Okay, so we got some gorgeous meat here. And I know some of you may have the question right now, like, okay, Gina, so why is it pink? Is it not done? No, 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 it's done. Oh, ho, ho. it's done. You know how... Uh, Smoked turkey meat is this color. This is the color. This will never turn a different color, okay? Unless it was a turkey neck, then it would be brown. But this one here, this is the color, okay? I almost put you in a mind frame of ham, okay? Making sure if you got any bones, you get rid of it, okay? I'm so happy right now. Oh, wait, look at this. How many of you had a lot of fun watching this recipe? I hope you did. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you're cooking with me or, <clears throat> excuse me, and or you're taking notes, you make sure that you say to get any little pin bones <clears throat> out of your turkey because you do not want <clears throat> for anyone to choke on a little bone. All right, so now the meat, and that's a lot of meat. You get the meat, 
throw it in there, and then I want to show you my pan. If at any time you feel like you want or you need more liquid, then I want you to put some water in there. And as you put more water in, okay, as you put more water in, you re-season. Because please keep in mind that the water will dilute your flavor. Okay, that's another uh, turkey thigh. It's just shredding apart right in the pan. Okay, get rid of the bone. Now, I personally feel like I need more liquid. So I'll show you myself how much liquid I decide to put in. Okay, because I need some. I, I gotta have that pot liquor in mind. Okay, so let me grab. I'll just use this. I'm going to use just this pan here. And I want you to see how much I'm putting in. Oh, yeah. So now you're going to say, oh, <coughs> okay. So now, Gina, when I look at your grains, I'm seeing all kinds of liquid in there. You want that. You got to have pot liquor in order for it to be flavorful, okay? Got to have that pot liquor. So now, can you come in real quick? Show them this gorgeousness. Show them how beautiful theirs should be. And what I want you to do, like, we can do it together. Oh, we're going to taste it. Okay? Let's taste it since we put water in. Because remember, we put water in. So that's diluting things. When you dilute something, you got to re-season. You may only need to season just a little bit because we did just season it, right? Oh, my goodness. Woo, wait, that's good. Oh, okay, let me get another spoon because it's that good. Only thing I'm going to do. Because I re-seasoned it a few minutes ago, I don't need to re-season it, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of chicken powder in there, and that's it. I'm done seasoning it for tonight. So now I want y'all to come in, and y'all can taste this pot liquor right here if you want to. Look at that. I want you to see the seasonings in there. I'm going in again. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. This right here. This right here. Oh, this right here. Oh, my goodness. Woo, it make you want to smack somebody. It's so good. Mm. And we're going to chow down. I'm going to put the chicken powder. We're going to chow down on this. You hear me? When I say we're going to chow down, listen, it is delicious. You hear me? Oh, my goodness. Put the lid on. Let it cook for a little bit. And the greens pretty much are almost done. Now, it's definitely up to your discretion how long you decide that you want to cook your greens, okay? Greens can be cooked for four or five hours if you want to, okay? If you want, they can be cooked for four or five hours. But if you don't want to, when that meat is cooked, it's done. Yes, it is. Let me wash my hands, okay? So, I'm going to probably let mine cook for about another half an hour. And then we can say a prayer and we can taste it. You hear me? I'm so serious. Yes, but if you want to let yours cook, like I said, a little bit longer, absolutely you can, okay? I gotta let my little doggies try a little tiny piece of the meat. Okay? Just a little tiny bit. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to rinse this off so they don't have any seasoning. I don't want them to have seasoning. So I'm gonna totally rinse it off. And that way they can enjoy a piece of this turkey. Right? But I'm gonna rinse all the seasonings off. How about that? OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this time to rinse this off very, very well under warm water. And then later, they're downstairs right now, but later, When they're walking around up here, I'll give them a little treat. Yes. <laughs> Can y'all see me over here rinsing their meat off? My goodness. I'm rinsing their meat off. And I'm wringing it out in a paper towel, getting any seasonings off of it. <laughs> oh my goodness, they spoiled. They know they spoiled. Lord. And I love them so much. Rinse it very well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I definitely want you all to see the roast. How many of you want to see the roast? I know you do. I know you do. All right. Let's put that over there. Okay. So what we need to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. All right, so what needs to happen since we've turned it off? Let me show y'all his cookies. Dakota, oh, okay. So what you got going on with these cookies here? You're putting them in a bowl? Okay. Look, guys, look at his cookies. He made chocolate chip cookies. He also made sugar cookies. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Woo -wee. Oh, I see you're putting them into a Christmas container, right? Okay, that's exciting. So you're going to show them when it's all done? Okay. All right, so now what we've done, we have taken the Instapot and we've turned it off. The Instapot is turned off. But now what needs to happen is when you're cooking on the Instapot, you have to let the steam come off. So I'm going to release the steam. You're going to hear some fizzing, like, you know, like that. It's going to be the steam releasing from the Instapot. And once that happens, and I can safely uh, show you all the, the roast beef, you're going to be knocked off of your socks when you see this roast beef. You hear me? Oh, you're going to be knocked off your socks. Dorothy, hello. Denise says, oh, no, now i got to get more socks. <laughs> Mildred started something. Susie Q, thank you. Oh, Susie Q, thank you so much. Okay, somebody is saying, okay, let me see. All right, let me look at the messages and see what you all are talking about. We got an Aunt Bobo now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I guess I just went over there. I grabbed one of his cookies and I ran with it. And he's like, don't put the lid on yet. He's like, um, I wanted to put them in a container first. I, I, I just caught myself grabbing a cookie and running with it. 
All right, I'm going to turn the vent on. Oh, thank you, Susie Q. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. Oh, thank you, Lenard. All right, I'm going to turn the, the thing on to get the steam out, and then we'll take the meat out so you can see how tender and gorgeous it is. Ooh. Okay, you hear that? I got to go this way. I don't want the steam in the camera. Oh, and I tell you one thing, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Mmm. He he filled he he really filled the cookie jar up a whole bunch. Um I usually don't use that for cookies. Um, I don't know why he used that one, but no, we don't fill it up with, uh, a piece of bread. Oh, you get your pacemaker checked out on Wednesday. Oh, that's exciting. And hopefully it's doing well, you know? You get it or you get it checked out. <clears throat> so you can hear that the steam is kind of diminishing. Nice Packers hat. Thank you. I was originally looking for, I had a, a yellow and green hat that was, um, what was the name of it? Uh, I can't think, but I couldn't find it. It was yellow and green too. Okay, almost time to open up the roast. How many of you are excited right now? If you ain't excited, you should be. You should be, because I can't wait until you see. Oh, I got a piece of cookie on the counter. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, Ruby, thank you. Uh-oh, Dion says, I am. You're excited that I'm doing an Instapot recipe. Okay. Oh, she says she can hear that. Okay. Thank you, Mildred. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, your goal is to make oxtails in a crock pot pressure cooker with Gina's help. Okay. Oh, those were your high school colors. Okay. My high school colors was red, black, and white. <laughs> yeah, we was the Red Devils. That, that was our mascot, the Red Devils. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Derek. Oh, you want to see? Okay, excited. Bonus cookie bite. Yeah, it was. I bet it is smelling good in here. <clears throat> uh-huh. Okay, you have six more days of radiation, and you've been feeling tired the last few days. Praise God. It's about over. Oh, pray for me, Gina, and everyone. Absolutely. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you help Elizabeth <clears throat> along her journey with her radiation. I pray that you protect her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. Help her with her worries. Help her with her health. Help her in Jesus Christ's name. We pray that no weapons formed against her shall prosper. We bind the devil away from Elizabeth in Jesus Christ's name. And we trust you ahead of time, Lord, that you're going to take care of her, that you're going to love her and give her peace. In the name of Jesus, we, hear, we thank you for hearing this prayer. We love you, Lord. We believe in you and we have faith in you. Thank you once again for hearing and answering this prayer today. Amen. We love you, Elizabeth. We was the mighty lions. Oh, is that right? Oh, you can get it checked out. Okay. We were panthers. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Praise LLC. Gina will be glad to help you. Okay, the roast chuck beef was good. Everyone enjoyed it. Okay, look, 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 look. It stopped. I, I should be able to take it out here in a minute. Should be able to take it out. I got I got the perfect. Get my white thing out. You know my white thing? My round, my round white thing? Get that out for me. Get it checked out. Okay, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. 
that Ron Wilson's uh, pacemaker is, is doing the right thing that it's supposed to be doing. We pray, Lord, that everything goes well with him as well, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you bless over his life. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen again. We trust you, Lord. You said, shoot, I'm going to get me some roast. <laughs> okay, you're excited? Let's do it. All right, all right, I got my pan out. I'm going to wash my hands. Let's do it. Let's do it together. I, I hope you're excited. Okay, okay, okay. I have the time of my life in here with you all. You, may, you all may be able to see some... Uh, New Christmas decorations. <laughs> you may see some new Christmas decorations as you are looking this way. <laughs> it's all happening right before our eyes. Hold on, I, I gotta I kinda got a mess over there. So here's the cookies. It's uh, chocolate chip and sugar. But I'll, I'll bring it close so y'all can see. I just don't think you can see it right now. All right. Hold on, I dropped some red pepper flakes. Lord, that's the last thing that I want to drop because I don't want the dogs to pick up any red pepper flakes. That would not be good. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Let's move the cookies. Okay. Open the Instapot. You may see some steam. You may not. <clears throat> Woo-wee! It's a lot of steam. So make sure you have some type of ventilation. And everything smells so stinking good right now. Oh, the whole house smells good. You hear me? And it's pitch black outside. <laughs> pitch black outside. Oh, yes. Oh, I need this. Uh-huh. Can you fix the camera? Oh. Mm-hmm. This smells good. Yes. Somebody said, I want to see the gravy. Oh, I'm going to show you. Can you come close, please? Oh, I told them it was gravy. How, how, how more can I show you? How more can I show you that there's amazing gravy that forms? Can they see it? They ain't getting dizzy now, are they? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? It's great. Something happens with the meat. <laughs> Something happens with the meat and the Italian dressing. It makes gravy. You may not be able to see it right now, but when I pour this into here, you're going to really be able to see it, okay? But what we need to do right now is we want to put the meat on here, okay? And I need, I have to show you how tender the meat is, okay? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you if you just, in case you didn't know. Oh, I'm going to show you, honey, in case you didn't know. I don't think I need, if, if my memory serves me right, oh, if my memory serves me right, I shouldn't need a knife. <laughs> I, listen, I'm totally laughing because this right here, this is making me happy. Is this, is this making you, is this doing something like to your insides or is it just me? Come, come look, look, look at what I'm seeing right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, an hour and a half of good loving. Y'all never had any good loving. This, this right here, this is where, oh my God. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for this right now. I'm going in. How hot is it? It's way too hot, Gina. It's way too hot. Oh no, it's way too hot, but I'm going in. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I love. Oh. 
I love for that meat. Can, can, I need to know if they can see the board. I love for the meat to fall apart like that. It is, okay. The, do y'all have a good picture? Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, this is it. We have them for dinner today, Gina. Well, we're gonna have some greens and we'll have some juicy, juicy, tender roast beef that kind of made its own gravy. Oh, 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 child, you something else. That fat right there, I love the fat, but I can't actually say that my family loves the fat. So when I see fat, I remove it because I want to respect them. You know, some people are just like, uh, 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 I don't want the fat. But I don't say that, I like the fat. So if when I see it, I kind of just put it aside for me, you know. And I just think that's respecting your loved ones because like I said, if they don't like it, get rid of it or, or save it for you, you know. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Chad, listen here. There's bell peppers. There's onions in here. Okay, look, look, look at this part. Look at this part. You don't even, you mean you don't need a knife at all? Gina, you mean you don't, you don't, you don't slice yours? No, I don't have to because it falls apart in your mouth. <laughs> oh, girl, you something else. Okay, so what we're going to do, we need to take the beef and we put it in here. I'm just turning it this way so y'all can see. Okay, and then you pour the gravy on top of this. And guess what? Dinner is served. You hear me? Oh, my husband's going to be so happy. You hear me? Oh, wait. Dakota going to be so happy. Oh, listen, if you love carrots and potatoes, put you some in there. If you're that person that loves carrots and potatoes, put you some in there. I don't always like potatoes and carrots in mine. You know, I, I do like roast with carrots and potatoes, but not all the time. Ooh, I mean, mm, 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 mm. girl, listen here. Okay, so now we take some of that beautiful gravy, stir it around. Oh my goodness. Look how it happens. Oh my goodness. Look how it happens. I'm gonna bring it close to you. I'm gonna bring it close to you so you can see ain't no denying this. Oh, ain't no denying this. You hear me? Mm, 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 mm. All right, all right. I want them. Can you come around this way? Because I want them to get all up in here. I want you to get all up in here. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let me put it right there. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody say that look good, Gina. Oh. Say, come, somebody say, Gina, that looked good. And look, while y'all looking at that, guess what I'm doing right now? Look, look, look at me. Look what I'm doing right now. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that's what I'm eating on right now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's right here. How easy was it? You see me season it, right? We seasoned it. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. You know, onions, bell peppers. Italian dressing, and the Italian dressing has so much flavor, one wouldn't believe that you would get a gravy out of that. Like that's Italian salad dressing, but it does something amazing when it matches up with the juice from the meat. Uh, uh, uh. No, we didn't, we didn't thicken this with flour or cornstarch or anything. That stuff right there, oh, that's the good stuff. Okay, now, we can check our greens. Y'all can stay there. I'm going to check the greens, okay? I'm going to see what, 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 what we're looking like. And if these greens are nice and tender, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn around. I'm going to say an amazing prayer, and we're going to eat together. Let me see the tenderness of the greens. I feel like they need to see it. I feel like they need to see it. Okay? I feel like they need to see it. And maybe they need to see me taste it. So we can see. Now I want you all to please keep in mind that the, the, um, 
If you want your greens tender, more tender, then you continue to cook them. Are the greens fully cooked? Absolutely. Is the meat cooked? Absolutely. Okay, but like I said, if you want yours more tender, you keep cooking them. Take a look at this. I'm going in. Let me see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. My greens are done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you want to keep cooking them, you keep cooking them, but just know they're done. The longer you cook them, the more tender you'll get. Let's come around here. I'm going to say a prayer. We're going to make up a plate, and we're going to eat together. Jeannie Young style. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, girl, you you. Okay. Okay, Gina. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my roast here. Okay. I'm going to open up that cornbread. Mm, let me get my little meat here that has the fat on it that I definitely want. Ooh. I got the cornbread on deck. Where's the, okay. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making a plate. Is that camera this way or that way? Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm making a plate with the roast. I'm gonna put some cornbread. I'm gonna put some greens on my plate. And then we can eat this together. We're gonna say a oh, we're gonna say a prayer. We we can we're not we're not gonna eat this without saying a prayer, okay? Oh, I for, I got the microphone on. Okay, okay, this is great. <clears throat> the sound of the opening of the cornbread. Ooh, wait, Dakota, go tell your dad that dinner is ready whenever he's ready. He deserves a good meal. Yes, he does. All right, guys, I'm coming around. I got the plate. We're going to say prayer. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. What a beautiful meal. I'm not going to get any of the pot liquor today because... I'm not putting this in a bowl. I'm just putting it on a plate, okay? And I'm going to keep my greens on low. Where's the hot sauce? Okay, I got the hot sauce. You need hot sauce on yours? We're putting hot sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Child, listen here. A little tiny bit of vinegar. You don't need vinegar on yours if you don't want. All right, I got a spoon, I got a fork. All right, got everything I need. I got a bottle of water, got the cornbread. We got roast beef, we got the greens. And how about that cornbread? Oh my goodness, listen here, listen. Cooking does not have to be hard. It does not have to be stressful. Just know that with God on your side, you can and you will do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You hear me? Look at this. Look at this. That's the roast. There's the greens. There's the cornbread. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to chow down after this prayer. Oh, we're going to chow. We're going to chow down. Okay. We're going to chow down. Uh, now that's how you fix a plate. <laughs> All right, let's say a prayer, absolutely. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your love. We thank you, Jesus, for your time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please, Lord, forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us. Thank you for peace over our minds. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your blessings and your blessings yet to come. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and your lessons. We need you in our lives, Lord. We can't do anything in life without you, and we won't. 
We thank you, Father, for this gift that you've given me to share with the world, and we're going to continue to share. Heavenly Father, I thank you just for being in all of our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. The microphone, the microphone just came out. All right. Thank you, uh, Mendel. Mendel, Mendel. All right. Who wants the first bite? Somebody wants that first bite. Come here, guys. The dogs. I know they got to go pee pee. Come here. Oh. Gina, stop teasing. That place making me hungry, knocking my socks off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I want you to see the beef. I want you to see, how, uh, beef don't just fall off the bone like that, or it doesn't, just, it doesn't just fall apart like that. Unless you do something right. If you do something right, it'll fall apart. Look at the grains. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, first thing I'm doing, I'm going in. I got hot sauce on my greens. I got hot sauce on the greens. holiday your holiday is near and you definitely are going to want to make this for your holiday you might even want to make this roast beef oh you missed a little fireplace the fireplace is literally like 10 feet away from me we just got to put a um a battery in it maybe next time you see me I'll have a, a battery in there. Mm-hmm. 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 You are, Wanda. <laughs> Wanda. Wanda said, I'm Gina, I'm drooling. <laughs> There's a lot of flavor, a whole lot of flavor in those greens there. You know, when I tell you to re-season, re-season. Don't be afraid to keep tasting it to see if you want more seasoning, you know? Mm. Now, Steve, while I got the cornbread in there, I'm going to put a little bit of greens in there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. That's okay. Hey, as long as the food is good, it's it's all worth it. Great flavors happening here. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that you can always freeze the greens. You want to go check in on the dogs, Dakota? Yeah. Hold on, the dogs just went out. One of the dogs won't come in. Hold on. Okay, he's in. Yes, good night, Virginia. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is delicious with Wanda, yes. Absolutely. 
Make sure when you have the greens, you got cornbread on the side. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -hmm. Susie Q, have a great night. Absolutely. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do you freeze the pot? Okay, so let me tell you. I guess that's a, that's a great question. Do you freeze the liquid? No, you would just freeze the greens, right? But when... Oh, you're welcome, Sonia. But when you're ready... Everything's ready? Uh-huh. When you're ready, so you put your greens in a container, freeze them, right? But no, you wouldn't put the liquid in. What you would do is when you're ready to heat up those greens, you could put a little bit of liquid in them. You see what I'm saying? In order to be able to enjoy the pot liquor, you have to kind of get them when they're made, you know? Because if you're going to freeze them, you either put them back on the stove with chicken broth or water so you can have that pot liquor or you eat them when they're ready now, okay? Who is Nay? Somebody says, who is Nay? Nay is the little boy we said happy birthday to. Mm-hmm. Nay is someone's son on here that we sang happy birthday to. Thank you, Tammy. You need the hot sauce? It's over there. It didn't. It didn't. You know, some people that don't have patience may think it took too long. Because it, it takes a while, you know. But it, like I said, if you don't have patience, then it's just not the recipe for you. Because a lot of people, yeah, right. oh, thank you. I'm still here. Okay, listen, I'm so glad to be able to do this with you all. Like I said, please feel free to. Continue to cook your greens longer if you want them more tender. Heck, you could cook them two, three more hours if you want, okay? But that right there is how you enjoy and how you make greens for the holiday. It was easy. It was fun. It's delicious. Mmm. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy with what we got going on here. Mm -mm. I haven't tried Beloved Sauce, no. Mm. You're welcome, Lily. Mmm. Uh-huh. You can go ahead and give go ahead and give that to them. You hear me? You're welcome. Who's saying that? Valencia, you're very, very welcome. That's how it's done. Okay? Easy peasy. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Greens is just like if you want to be able to enjoy something like a big old pot of beans. Let's just say you want some great northern beans or some pinto beans. You're going to have to wait for it, but it's all going to be well worth it. You know, like the greens. Yeah, they take some time, but it's, it's so well worth it because I know tonight I'm going to eat two more bowls of these greens. I'm so serious. I know I'm going to eat two more bowls of the greens. And I know tomorrow morning I'm going to eat some tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> Before breakfast. <laughs> yes, look at that. Mm. So good. 
so flavorful. You're going to wow your family members. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And the beef. Don't forget about the beef, Gina. Oh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, wait. Mm -hmm. I might. You said not before breakfast. <laughs> I know, my Holy King. I'm excited. It was funny because last night I was watching this surgeon working and he um, he was doing the procedure that I'm getting done on somebody and he records it on his YouTube channel. And I was reading the comments, right? And the first comment, the girl said, yeah, Dr. So-and-so, my procedure. And he told me, she says, this is in her comments. She says, yeah, Dr. So-and-so told me uh, I did my surgery. And she said, I think she started it out by saying, she's in the comment section. She said, he did my surgery. He did a great job. She said, and I'm proud. She said, but he did tell me that when I woke up, I was going to feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. She said, he wasn't lying. <laughs> right up there. She said, she said, but he sure did a good job. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> and he looks so gentle as he's working. <laughs> gentle don't mean nothing when you wake up, right? Thank you, Alyssa. Mm hmm That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Great flavor here. <sighs> So thank you all for joining me tonight. Oh, you said D Saturday says the Cowboys are going to take apart. What? The Cowboys are going to take apart the cheese heads. Oh, okay. Mm, mm -mm. Now, are you talking about the Packers? I don't know if the Packers is the cheese heads or not. Because I don't, there's not, I'm not into teams. I just like their colors. <laughs> I don't know anything about nobody's team. I just like the colors. If the colors match with what I want to wear, <laughs> he means Green Bay. Oh, okay. Heck, okay. Yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing about nobody's team. <laughs> As long as the colors match my shirt, listen. Mm. Okay, the outfit is nice, but you shouldn't be wearing a losing team. You're not a loser. I don't know what they, I don't know what kind of scores or if they win or if they lose. But if I like the outfit, if I like to get up, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Listen, I love you guys. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to give y'all a big, big, big hug. Look who's back there hanging up. Look, look who's, look who's back there. Look at him. He's hanging up the uh, stockings on the fireplace. My goodness. Look at the little Christmas tree ornaments on the uh, table now. Listen, give me a big hug. I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to put in a community post what I'm going to decide to do on Tuesday, okay? No matter what. Oh, okay. Monday, I'm going to be doing a whole turkey on video. Tuesday, I'm going to go live. Wednesday, I have surgery, okay? I love y'all. Give me a big old hug, and I'm going to get off, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed this. Give me a hug. Oh, I love y'all. Yes. I love you so much, okay? Oh, it will, Grace. Thank you. Hey, listen, I'm going to have God right there with me. You hear me? Through the whole thing, through the recovering process, through the surgery process, I'm going to have God right there with me, all right? I love y'all. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all Monday because I'm doing a turkey video. I love y'all, okay? See you later.